All right, so we're going to be playing Eleanor today. Let us talk about Eleanor. So great works in Eleanor cities cause minus one loyalty. Okay, cool. So we're going to have a, want to do a great works based game. So we're going to want to do culture, almost certainly. We also get Grand Tours. So we build wonders a little bit better. We also get the Guard Imperial, which eh, not that useful. But we get the Chateau, which is pretty good. Hey, what's up? Hey, Paul Craig, nice to see you, buddy. Dishant Jane. Uh, is is Ospuf Pogchamp? How's it going, buddy? Ivo Trobajo, G eight O nine GD. Pablo Yara, DJ Imwaz. How's it going, man? Vino Kaivos. Hey, God, man. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Malta Yerkevord. Loggy, the A to Z challenge is basically playing every leader in order from A to Z. Kooky Badger, you caught the beginning, I know. Narayan, nice to see you, buddy. Hey, Pearson. Looking forward to this one, my favorite style of game to play. I was literally looking for a new, any new content five minutes ago. Welcome to the new content extravaganza. Xander, Dimitri. Uh, Heather Blakely. Hi, Heather. Sony Dishant. How's it going, Dishant? Yona, would you recommend all the DLCs? I would. They should be going on sale in a month or two if you're waiting. Luke, how's it going? Drill Sergeant Dimitris. Is this my new Skyrim OST? Uh, sure. Mario Grosu. How's it going, Mario? Uh, David, how's it going? Isis, good morning. Can you do a domination victory by flipping all the other saves capitals for the challenge? Uh, maybe. Seven Seas map. Vladimir Panin, Johannes, Rashad, Ryan. How's it going? Andre Rosu. Oh God. Uh, Maelstrom, yes. Culture victory. Yeah, we'll probably be going for culture victory. Love your vids. Caught my first stream. Good to see you, buddy. Gregos Biendrowski. Will you win by loyalty? Probably not. Happy. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Jolens, Pierre, Piero. I want to see all your loyalty. You'll get none of my loyalty. What's the A to Z challenge? Basically just playing every leader in order from A to Z. We have done everyone from Alexander and we're now on Eleanor. Miss you, Potato. Thanks, Lance. Early Golden Age and Rider Rush will do some interesting stuff, I think, this game. All right, so what kind of map do we want to play on? I kind of want to do Pangea. As Eleanor, I feel like Pangea works. A Dwarf in Blues. Ralph, Joey, get your baguettes. Hell yeah, baguettes. Peaceful domination victory? Mm, maybe. I don't know if that's what I want to do. We're going to do Pangea, standard map size. Sparse resources? Abundant? You don't like Eleanor's hairstyle for France? It's not that big of a deal. Kooky Badger. How come a storm Dennis team and cranking up disaster intensity? Sure. Schumpf. Potato saves me from boredom. I save everyone from boredom. Seven Seas. We did a Seven Seas game uh, with the Netherlands recently. So I'm thinking Pangea. Can you do continents? I can't will with, win with Eleanor on it. Sure. If it's for educational person, uh, reasons, we'll do continents. Are you a fan of Paradox? Yes. What's your favorite kind of potato? Uh, I don't really have a favorite kind of potato. The one that I'm currently eating will generally be my favorite. What do we think? Sparse, it's 1337 here. Poggers. Uh, I think, do you want to do New World Age or Old World Age? Marathon game speed? No, I will never play a game on Marathon. It's, it's just painful. Please do all the wonders. Are you a fan of Paradox? Yes. 
Uh, on Pangea, Peaceful Domination, Challenge with All the Wonders. That's going to be really difficult. Yes, Luke, I am a fan of Paradox. That is the third time you've answered that quest asked that question. The third time I have answered it. Pangea for loyalty pressure. Hello, friends. I'm new to save. You think the best way to play Earth map? Lakes, 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 lakes. I, I think we're going to do continents. Somebody asked for continents. Uh, sea level. I'm, I, I think I'll do low sea level for a little bit of extra land. I think I'll do a wet world for lots of chopping because that could be fun. Hey, Gabrielle. Gabrielle Taylor. Hello. You're the best. Thank you, Tom. And Arthur Bugajski. Bugachi? Bugajski? I don't know how to say your name, Artur, but thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate that. Sure, let's do New World Age. A couple of people ask for New World Age. Lots of mountains in that. Pangea is actually a great map for Eleanor. It's not separate, but easy. New World, more interesting. Earth TSL? No. We're doing continents. Haven't decided on start position. Let's do legendary. We never do. Let's do legendary abundant. Let's just have lots of real good stuff. Temperature, I'm going to leave it standard. Map size is standard. Everything else is standard. I'll add two. I'll go to 16 city states. That'll make things interesting. Are you going to flip cities via loyalty? Maybe. If I find an opportunity to do so easily, then yes. If I don't have a good opportunity, I probably won't bother. Amy Ballenbach. Hey, Potato. Hey, Amy. Uh, Casper. Is he a Paradox fan? I don't know. Is he? Stormwinds. Mike Brown. Bring on the pigs. I probably have a slammer somewhere in a box. Is there a high delay? There's about a 30 second delay. Two. I'll go to six. Love watching you play Duarte Matias. Thank you so much. Bradley Hill. Uh, potato bit. How does Eleanor count for A to Z? As a single leader or separately? I'm going to be do playing her twice in a row. Right, I think this is a pretty good game setup. Let's get started. Turn off culture victory? No. Has it been windy over there, Potato? It's been crazy windy. Godman63 and Russian name that I can't pronounce. Thank you both for becoming members of the channel. I really appreciate that. The great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Why not do England first, then France? Because the French one appeared in the list first. Early cradle of civilization. What is the A to Z challenge playing every civilization leader in order from A to Z alphabetically? Win by relics, Potato? Maybe Khmer? Uh, no, we won't be playing a different Civ. Inspire the hearts of your subjects that they will cheer you and flock to your Hi, Potato. Uh, Eleanor is always fun. Shell, Aaliyah, I love potatoes. Hi, Shell. Uh, cat R. Oh, yay, a potato stream. Hi, Potato. Hi, Cat. Jack Arrow, are we heading for violence-free domination? No. Russian name is Leznev Konstantin. Leznev Konstantin, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. Should they add an economic victory? I think they could. It would be interesting. Ooh, this is an interesting starting location. So I think to open with, I'm going to scout towards the water over here. Let's talk about our opening moves here. Um, there's a farm triangle there, which is interesting. I could move away from the coastline, which would let me settle the coast, or I could move towards the coastline, settle on this sheep. I could. This is probably one of the worst places I could settle, where I am right now. If I move towards the coast, I give up good tile, or I move away from the coast, I give up good tiles in the beginning, but I gain better cities down the road. Tempted to actually settle on this floodplain right here. Because that'll give me access to two good early game tiles and leave open for me to be able to settle on this wine early, which would be really, really good. And then I can get these cities to cooperate. So with that in mind, we're going to move to that. Gives me two, two, two tiles. Let's do it. We're going to open with a scout. 
boost from masonry. Nice. On the sheep. Let's absorb the world. On the sheep is cool, but I want to be off the sheep, actually, in this game. I'm going to research animal husbandry because I'd like to get those sheep improved pretty early. And it also leads to um, archery. Although this is a cultural game, so there is something to be said for going for holy sites. Uh, you can settle anywhere you want to as long as barbs hand your ass to you in 10 minutes tops. Could you draw a cat in the end of stream drawing? Sure thing, Gabrielle. I will do that if I remember. <laughs> Three gold from cotton, good food tiles. Yep, exactly. This is an okay spot to start, I think. Ideally, if the cotton had been on the river, that would have been perfect, but this is pretty reasonable. No music. I play without music because um, the music gets claimed a lot by um, like content ID and stuff. Too close to all the useless water tiles. These are far from useless. These are great tiles, especially if I get mausoleum. If I go like harbor... Mausoleum... And these tiles are great. And I'll get a lot of them. Ideally I would have ideally I would have settled on the water or this would be a water tile, but you know, this is the best we can do. No music has a copyright weird. Yep. Uh Bradley Hill, how do you know what the optimal decisions are? Uh usually it's just from a lot of experience. We're gonna head here, we'll go to the next turn. We're working on a scout. Pop onto the hill. We're doing a little bit of scouting. What tile am I working? I'm working the sheep. Which is what I want to be working because it's a two food, two production tile. I don't else figure AD, DD AI is going to ruin this one. Yeah, I mean, you could say that about all my games. Uh, question. Do I... I think I have to clear this and not bother scouting anymore. So I'm going to do the double scout opener. It's a little bit of a rarer opener. Um, but I think it's fine to do. We're going to hit this once, then heal. Looks like we found candy. And we were the first to meet candy. And we also found a tribal village right there. Would you play against Spiffy and Saxy? I, I mean, I'd be down. Okay, we're working two, two, two tiles. Beautiful. Do a little bit of scouting. We're going to heal. I really need you to not stand on that tribal village. I'm kind of upset that you did that. Take that. That's a lot of gold. We'll be able to purchase a builder extra fast. We're going to hit it one more time and then rest a little bit. You're going to come up this way, scout out this direction. Then I'm going to go settler to holy site. I uh, need to save, so I'll watch my man here to learn how to get my ass whooped within a hundred times. Yep. Sup, Spudsters. Hey, Andrew Boudreau. Boudreau. Uh, Xander, I've saved my Xbox, but it broke like 12. What is the difficulty setting on? We're playing on Deity. Deity difficulty as always. Doing the scout thingy tactic you talked about? Yes, exactly. Uh, do you have to finish a game at every save in the game to do the A to Z? Yes. Is this another Diplo game? Uh, no, it is not. It's not currently a Diplo game. This could actually potentially be a Petra city right here. So I'm thinking of settling on the wine. And then doing a uh, theater square here at some point. With like Petra. And pyramids. I love Petra Pyramids. It's a great combo. So I think this might be something we do here. French Eleanor is my favorite. Farm, farming Triangle with Builder. Uh, farming Triangles aren't worth it in the early game. It's going to take forever. It won't. We have chops. We have a stone chop, three, four forest chops. Sorry, we have two stone chops and four forest chops. So we should be able to do this no problem if we save up our gold for it. 
Any tips or particular saves you'd recommend for someone new? I think Rome is a really, really good save for new players because they get a lot of extra value for no like work as a player. Because you just start with that monument. What is the scout thingy strategy? It's where you go scout, scout, settler in order to try to meet as many city states as possible in the early game. I'm going to take plus one production and I'm also going to take discipline so that my units do more damage so this guy can be able to clear this. He'll hit it one more time, then heal, then kill it. Although I could kill it, then heal. Um, so to open... Uh, let's see. I'd like to get a trader early for my second city. And I haven't met any other civs, so I'm not under major pressure to get craftsmanship here. I'm going to want my early monuments. I would like to get the Mahabodhi Temple this game. Which means this might have to be a... Um, this might have to be a Mahabodhi here. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. It's like a continents map. This is a continents map. Who is Eleanor? What's she doing in the game? She is the leader of the French civilization. The stream said to start it over for me. Uh, somebody tell Loggy. Loggy. Oh, I'll type it. Hey, Brother Potato. I'm watching your diplomacy stream. Cool. The only serious victory is achieved with science of Germany and culture with Pericles. So let's kill this. Military tradition boosted. Let's attack there for some experience. Let's kill. Let's get you moving. We're going to take the battle cry promotion. I like battle cry because it's more flexible a bonus. Found another continent. Lovely boost for foreign trade. We did not find a natural wonder, which kind of sucks. You get heal then kill because you'll get the extra XP. It's only one experience for attacking a barbarian when you already have a promotion. I'm going to put you on that hill and then heal a bit. A physician without a knowledge of right, there's astrology. We're going to place our holy site right there. But we're not going to build it yet. We want to finish this settler because you've already invested into it pretty heavily. Bad things will follow. If you don't remove the Rurgebite pin this game, bad things will happen. We'll see. Alright, so we have Astrology. I'd like to pick up Animal Husbandry. I like revealing horses and being able to build pastures would be good on these sheep tiles. I'd like to purchase a settler uh, in the not-too-distant future if I could. Alright, so we'll be there in a couple turns. We have our Pantheon. Beautifully, we can go for the second settler. Double settler. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Looks like a dream start. It's not a terrible start. So I definitely want to settle there. Um, where else do I want to settle? So this desert will basically be entirely claimed by this Petra city. That's this settler. I think I'd like to maybe move to... Oh, there's a barb camp there. So I want to avoid that until I can bring my warrior to bear on that. Um, got a lot of space to yourself? Yes. You might be on your own continent. It could be possible, but I, I doubt it. I doubt I'm completely alone. So I'm thinking there could be a really interesting city right here on this grassland hill. This could be my mausoleum city, actually. If I place this here, harbor here, mausoleum there, I can do theater square here, and then another city up here on this could put its theater square there. So this is kind of what I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking uh, harbor here, city on this hill, then a uh, mausoleum here with a theater square here and a theater square here. 
This is the kind of configuration. So there would be another city like there. This would completely lock down this northern area. So I think that's my early game settling decisions made up now. Let's get our religion. Should we prioritize settling? Uh, that's what I did. Getting two early settlers is good. And then I'm going to spend a bit of time making sure that I secure a religion. Because religions tend to go pretty early on deity. Let's keep you healing. That's a reef? Oh no! Well... Shoot. This is perfect too. I guess, I guess... We could forgo the harbor adjacency perfection here and put it there. That doesn't feel very good to me. But I guess it will do, because it preserves this really good culture configuration. More barb camps. Cool, cool, cool. Candy, what's your mission? You want me to send a trade route? Well, I'm going to try to explore. Because I do want to do that. The question is, do I go builder or trader first? Settle on this. Delete that pin. In this city, we're going to immediately get a uh, builder. Because I want to start trying to... I'm going to send this builder to my capital to build up my capital a little bit. And then use my capital to build up other cities. Okay, lovely. Move the settler up one. I guess... I guess I could settle here. Put the mausoleum here. And this would be slightly better. I missed out on the Plains Hill settle, but that'll be fine. Yeah, this is marginally better. Ooh, I'd love to clear that if I could. Plus one new pop. Okay, I did not get the clear. It's unfortunate. Looks like we've got a bit of a barb problem blocking us. So let's settle in place. Trader for early faith. I have plenty of faith. The question is... If I'm building a builder here, do I go for the trader? I'm going to try an early trader this game. Um, this city is going to go for the monument. Because I want that culture. Would save the chop. That's a good point. It is slightly better because it also saves the chop. I am fond of pigs. Animal husbandry. There's Dog. horses. We did indeed find horses. So I'm going to improve that because that gives me something to sell to the AI. You're alone on the island? Oh, that would be cool. Alright, so there's Animal Husband. You're going to pick up mining. Get my basic tile improvements online. Sailing would be another good one. Let's kind of fill out our map here a little bit. Ah, oh, there's a barb camp up there. That's really annoying. I'm going to have to go deal with that. So we've completed the holy site. There's a few civs going for religion. I think I could safely go for a shrine this game. And so I will. Even if I'd really like to be building settlers right now. But I'm going to go for the shrine. It's more cost efficient long term. One more turn I can purchase the trader. Yes. That's the positive aspect. So let's get that trader. It's 170 gold, but it'll pay itself off fairly quickly with this trade route with Candy. Now that we have foreign trade, I think I'm going to head to State Workforce. Great. 
great bath has been built. That's not what I meant to do. I was trying to click on this over here. So I'm going to trade with Candy. That'll give me an envoy. More importantly, it'll give me gold. That'll pay itself off over time. What about prayers to secure religion? I don't see a huge amount of competition for great profits right now. So I'm probably going to do shrine plus a, a prayer. And that's sort of the plan. Can I kill you? Knowledge of bronze working and a promotion on this scout. Who deserves more credit than the one? Movement cost three. There's mining. Let's pick up masonry so we can get started on the pyramids. We'll start cleaning this up too. Go here. Take your... I think I'm alone on this island. Whoa! I am genuinely alone. This hasn't happened in a very, very long time. It's actually a bit of a bad thing. Because now it means I need to redirect for sailing. To get um, galleys. Do you try to squeeze in as many cities as you can? Um, I would generally try to squeeze in as many good cities as I can. There's the shrine. I think I'm going to do at least one holy site prayer. And we'll see how that works out. Although I'd love to get the monument first. I'm going to be switching away from craftsmanship here once that build is started doing his thing. I don't think it makes sense to attack there. We got our builder. Let's improve that. That'll give me horseback riding. Then we'll do both the sheep. Uh, I'm going to do another builder. Yeah. I like the extra builder here. I can further improve my capital. Get yourself a bit of experience. Uh, a campus next to the theater square and reef. Yeah, here's actually a pretty good campus too. Right there, eventually. Holy side prayer is completed in here. I'm now on par for religion. I'm going to do one more holy side prayer. Because I want to make sure I secure a pretty early religion this game. CIV Vi took <coughs> about three years to become as good or better than previous 104th games. Maybe just in my mind. Uh, I guess. I mean, I think that's a pretty reasonable opinion. Because it was a very, very different game from the other games. Um, so I can understand why you would say that. But I, I disagree. I think it was a good game right from the get-go. Hmm. Thank you for reminding me I can switch off craftsmanship. Let's go ahead and put some turns into early empire. Uh, right. I don't want to go for the holy side in here. Uh, let's see. I think getting a builder and sending it over to here to get the pyramids going is a good move. So like builders are a way to basically transport production around the map. Warrior then galley. Okay. There's another pasture giving our capital more production. Stonehenge has just been built, so someone did found a religion. Or will next turn. Go step on the bananas. There's craftsmanship finished. Beautiful. Uh, do I want to change this? I'm going to go ahead and plug in a GOG. No, sorry. Maritime industry so I can build galleys faster.
holy site then relics relics lots of candy you can explore for relics that's true so meeting houses and warrior monks are gone religion wise i could probably justify one more holy site prayer and that would secure my religion but i'm gonna get it in eight turns anyway is that eight turns let me have a look here uh this divided by what is that i'm gonna get it in seven turns so i think it's worth it now to get a monument and then go back for settlers once i have early empire Oh, you managed to get trapped, didn't you? Okay. The fog busting. So after this builder, we'll go for galleys. You stay fortified there. Is candy good or am I just bad? Candy is okay. So the double scout opener really didn't pay off this game, which makes me pretty sad. Not the end of the world. I'd love to take this tile. I really got to wait till Magnus is here, though. Let's uh, put one turn into a monument before we get working on things. Uh, I'm going to take Exodus of the Evangelists. In here, I'm going to do double galley. Because I want to explore. Stay fortified. He might attack me again. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, there's masonry unlocked. We can harvest stone. Let's get pyramids. Working on pyramids. 28 turns. We're going to wait for Magnus. Uh, okay. Thanks, Frederick. Hey, what's up, guys? Desync here. Uh, watch the air take Exodus to get plus four profit points now with a golden age. Can you quickly go over the general strategy quickly? Uh, general strategy is just to get a strong, robust early game economy and then build as many theater squares with high adjacency as possible. That is the entire strategy. Uh, I'm going to unlock iron because iron's a good source of early game science if you find it. Okay, the there's early empire. I'm going to go ahead and take out urban planning and plug in colonization to start getting my cities down. Okay. We'll get a religion in three turns. Get to work on state workforce. Did you try the PS4 version? I have. I don't have a PS4, so I haven't tried the PS4 version. But I mean, if, I, I would play it if it was like a thing. All right, let's go ahead and appoint Magnus into Marseille. In five turns, we can start chopping with these builders. I've got another builder on the way to help chop out the pyramids. I might only do two chops for the pyramids. Like maybe this and this, or maybe this and this, something like that. And then save the rest of the chops for Petra. So I think I want this scout over here to fog bust. Because I plan to try to settle without military units. Uh, is it possible to see more Let's Plays instead of streams? Uh, I think I'm going to be doing a mixture of both. It's just kind of easier today to do a, a, a stream. that was really all the thought that went into it i'm going to settle up here so we're fog busting why are you building so many theater squares and holy sites because i'm going for a culture victory uh faith and culture are really really useful for going for a culture victory apadana has already been built that's unfortunate that's a good one OK, 
Okay, let's found our religion. We should call this religion uh, Tater Tater Thoughts. There you go. Okay, so uh, our objective is to generate tourism. We have access to candy, so reliquaries could be pretty good here. Do you only do A to Z on stream? Yes, that's the entire point of the A to Z challenge is to be a live stream challenge. Can you do one, <laughs> streams at 1.25 speed so I can watch it like I do your mega streams? Talk and play a bit faster? Sure thing. All right, so let's talk about these beliefs. So first of all, we've got Feed the World. Feed the World is pretty weak here. Um, ideally, so my goal is to spend most of my faith on rock bands and naturalists. So I want to avoid things that require me to spend faith. Now, reliquaries could be a really interesting choice this game because we have candy. And not only that, but we can go for the Mahabodhi Temple and for Mont Saint Michel. Um, because we have floodplains here in the capital, which would allow us to surround a theater square like this um, with two wonders, Mont Saint Michel. Where are you, Mont Saint Michel? There you are. So we could go for both of these things, and then we could like put a government plaza in here somewhere, right? This is the kind of configuration that we could potentially look at. This is a pretty good configuration, in my opinion. Um, leaves me open to potential other things. So I think in this game we're gonna we're, we're gonna try we're gonna try a reliquary game, right? Tater thoughts. Can I be a t tater thought? You can all be tater thoughts. So I'm gonna do reliquaries, even though I would normally think it's not very good. I think it's just gonna make the game more interesting for me. Now, if we're gonna be doing that, then I think we would like to secure um, holy order, because then we can generate relics more cheaply. We're also going to want to get Sue's Ranity of Candy. He wants me to get a great Admiral. Yikes. First time catching a live video of yours? Hey, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Crawl Music encourages Holy Site Grout, which down the road follows Rock Bands and Parks, which need faith. Yeah, but I'm going to be building Holy Sites anyway. One more turn for Magnus. I ideally don't want to chop until the very last second. And I also want... I don't want to chop until I have um, political philosophy in an ideal world as well. Shell Aliyah has become a Thruz buddy. Thank you so much, Shell. I appreciate it. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. A strong uh, Mount Saint a strong Ma Michel must be near Marsh. Uh, if you read the description of Mont Saint Michel, it says must be built on floodplains or marsh. This is floodplains right here. Plains, floodplains. Uh, I had a DD win with her recently. Maybe really have a power loyalty reducing ability with her. Yeah, her loyalty ability is pretty strong. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Pingala now. And appoint a Pingala into the capital. We're also going to get started on political philosophy. We'd like to get the Mahabodhi Temple. I have 200 gold. Uh, what do I want to do with that 200 gold? Sadna, do you remember the account named Natalie Cloud? Yes, actually, I do remember Natalie Cloud. She would always ask me about my um is the mirror of the form. She would always ask me about my milestone videos like are you doing a 1000 subscriber special? She was there like since I had like 500 sub subs uh if I remember. Ciao, if you're asking Kayo, if you're asking for a good guy, what? <laughs> what is Tater Thoughts? You don't want to know. All right, let's pick up pottery. It would be good to pick up riding this game. I'd also like to get celestial navigation. We did actually find iron here, which is kind of an awkward spot, realistically.
what map type is this? This was continents. Um, so. Uh, infrastructure with gold. I think I might purchase my monument in here with gold. I like that plan because it gets me political philosophy faster. Do I want to go for another settler? Thanks for sharing your videos. I appreciate that, Chris Lanklos. So glad to see you playing as perhaps my favorite leader. Looking forward to this gameplay. Helga Torp upgraded his membership to a quintuple spuddy. Thank you so much, Helga Torp. I appreciate that, man. Finally got a last live stream. Thanks for the vids. My Civ game has improved ridiculously because of them. You're welcome, uh, Mr. Old Andy. Ah, no! This is so painful. Thanks for sharing your videos. Oh my god, that's a kick in the teeth, dude. That's really bad, but we can we can actually we can work around that for just fine um, by doing this. We just reach we just shift things around, right? Okay, so we just kind of shift things around. We're always being adaptable. Keeps going silent. It makes me think that the live stream is freezing. It's because I'm reading chat. You should improve the cotton. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, so the reason why I shouldn't improve the cotton is because it would require me to unlock irrigation and it would also be a plantation improvement, which only gives me extra gold, which doesn't make this tile workable. Why am I working an unworkable tile? Wait. So I want to be working food. Although the science here is really good. Couple of farms in here wouldn't be a miss. You attempted to scream was a kick in my ears. My bad. Apologize. Brett G has become a true spuddy. Thank you so much, Brett G, for becoming a 2.5 spuddy man. I really appreciate that, dude. Okay, so if we harvested in here, how much production is left on the pyramids? We have calculator time. Uh, do 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 do. So that's uh, two twenty minus fifty seven. It's one hundred and sixty production left. So we need a little bit more. I'm not going to buy this tile just yet. Now, I want to be careful with my exploration because I don't want to reveal any, um, any things until I have a Sue's Vanity of Candy. I don't want to reveal any re natural wonders. I'm such a big fan. Buy a builder with the gold. We have two builders already. And we're about to get the pyramids, so I'm not worried about builders at the moment. I think I would much rather get the um i would much 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 rather get the uh monument in here let's go to the south you hang on there you wait there two six seven why are you guys all posting numbers wait what oh right you're, do you're doing math with me Okay, we're going to purchase the monument. This does waste 11 production, but it gets me plus two culture right now. And that plus two culture right now will speed up how close, how fast we get to things like drama, poetry, theology, all that stuff. We can start building important districts. Uh, okay. Political philosophy is on the way. No man ever There's pottery. Pick up writing.
fortify there. Scouting. Pengala is established in Paris, giving me a little bit more of science and culture, which is great. And quarries. Potatoes are dumb. They are dumb. Okay, we met the Vikings. Let's uh, say hello to them. Wait until you find other saves and they're already at Mausoleum. Uh, I mean, I'm already at Mausoleum. It's like right there. The AI usually doesn't build Mausoleum, which is why I'm not rushing for it. And if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world, right? It's a nice to have thing. So I could, I can't send him a delegation, but what I can do is sell him all my resources. I think I'm going to try to get just all of his gold right now. Like he'll give me 90, maybe 95, 94. He'll give me 94 gold for that. And then with that, I can send him a delegation. And then I can do mutual open borders. He'll take some money from me, but that's fine because I'll be able to sell him horses. He'll give me three gold per turn and eight gold raw. And he'll give me three gold and eight, go eight gold raw again. That's good. So that, that actually just like really turned our economy around. Our economy was struggling. Now we're up to 11 gold per turn. And we have 100 gold in the bank, which means we can buy this tile right here for 65 gold. So now we have two chops worth 54 production, which is 100 and something, which means actually if I chop, now I would finish it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my government on purpose by doing the government reset exploit. I'm coming in here. Oh, did they fix that? I think they fixed the government reset exploit. Did they? Interesting. Monument. Let me try that again. No, they didn't fix it. So I'm going to pull out colonization. And I'm going to plug in Core V. And then I'm going to harvest. And harvest. From the There's the pyramids. Pyramid. So both of these guys get their builder charges back. So they're still on three. And then I got another builder who's on four charges. So I'll be able to run these guys around and do some improving now. Safely. I'd like to get this fish online. I'd like to get, get this. I want to get both the fish online. So I'm going to send you there. I'm going to send you there. And you're going to come over and get these elephants online. Actually, you should get those online while you're there. <clears throat> uh, I wish I knew... Uh, sell wine to Norway. I will... Wait, do they have wine? I already sold wine to Norway. I think. Didn't I? Let's see. This is settled on wine. So I already sold them wine. Exploits are lame. It's a very, very small exploit. And it's good to teach people uh, exploits because they will be used against you in multiplayer. So now I'd like to unlock Celestial Navigation. I'd also like to unlock Currency. Um... I think Celestial Navigation is my priority, though. So there's the pyramids. Now we can get to work on something else. We can delete that pin. 
I think I'd like a holy side in here. Um, it would be good to also get a campus early. Is this the city I want to build my government plaza in? I think this is the city I want to build my government plaza in. One, two, three, four chops available. So I could give up one chop to get the government. So I'll get the granary. I'll chop out the granary with this builder and then get the government plaza. So that seems fine. Stay fortified there. How much more do you value the early production versus the long-term production? Uh, production now is always worth more than production later. Uh, in almost every dimension of analysis you can think of. Okay, there's a galley. I'm going to extend this one to explore north and around the island this way. Uh, now this city, I'd like to be building the campus in here. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to want to do it in a very particular way. So I'm going to buy this tile with Leon. I'm going to swap that tile to Marseille. I'm going to harvest that tile. That'll finish the granary and then I can get to work on the government plaza in here. Get that suzerain status before you scout. Yeah, I'm, I'm being mindful of it. So then we'll improve these elephants. Okay, plus one score. There's political philosophy. We are going to plug in. I'd like to plug in autocracy here. Have a look at what policies I have available. Autocracy is really, really powerful in the early game. I'm going to take autocracy. I'm going to take out Core V. I'm going to plug in colonization. I'm going to plug in urban planning. And I'm going to plug in conscription and maritime industries. Uh, okay. So next up, I'd like to pick up an envoy to get suzerainty of Candy, and then I want to head over to the Mahabodhi Temple, and then I want to head to Mausoleum, and then I want to head maybe to Feudalism, but then I want to go for Mont Saint Michel. So there's a lot of, lot of stuff I want to get my hands on. Right, we're going to pick up a camp here. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell those to Norway. Four gold per turn. Not amazing, but I'll take it. Every little bit of gold I can get right now is a huge advantage. What does the A to Z challenge mean? It quite simply means uh, doing every save in the game from A to Z uh, by leader name. Okay, so we could pick up gold here. Um, I might put this in Leon. Let me see. Let me think about what I want to do here. How do I want to do my trade routes? I'm going to put this in Leon. There's the Netherlands. It's an honor to meet you. There's her capital. Let's go ahead and sell her this. I want to get gold out of you, ideally. Would you give me like 120? Would you give me like 130? So somewhere between 120 and 130. And I'll sell her 10 horses as well, like that. So we took a chunk of her gold, which we can then use to send her a delegation. So I'm going to want to get a settler down towards the south end of this island, which is where this warrior and this scout are going to come in handy. As is this scout. 
I think settling somewhere right here would be good. Any chance you can explain what a farm triangle is? Sure thing. So a farm triangle is quite simply placing three farms in a triangular formation. So that would be like putting a farm on this wheat, on this wheat, and then on this tile. And the reason why it's really good is because at the feudalism civic, you can see here, farm improvements now gain plus one food from every adjacent two farm improvements. So if we were to take three examples, I'm going to need to use my... Um, Paint skills, hell yeah. Okay, uh, paint, 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 paint. Does anyone remember how to transparent copy? Uh, How do I do transparent copy? Does anyone remember how to do it? There's a way to do it. Transparent selection, okay. Let's make a grid so I can explain this. It's easier than this way. So if we imagine We have these tiles, okay? If I put a farm here, here, and here, I will only get a total of plus three, okay? Because I'll get plus one food here, I'll get plus one food here, and I'll get plus one food here, okay? But if I take one of those farms and put it in between these two, when I have the feudalism civic, I'll get plus one, I'll get plus one, and I'll get plus one. But I'll also get another plus one because this farm in the middle is beside two other farms. So this actually becomes a plus two. So that means a plus four total, okay? So the most efficient arrangement you can do is to actually move two of these and put them all beside each other so that all three farms provide you with plus two, plus two, plus two. That's, that's really all it is. So by placing your farms in a triangle, you actually double their yield once you have the feudalism civic. So that's, that's what a farm triangle is. That's where it comes from. It's from feudalism. So usually I don't bother about building farm triangles until I'm about to get feudalism or, to, or until I already have it. Um, so for example, here's a prime farm triangle here. This is another prime tr farm triangle. And this is actually like a combined farm triangle that you can combine together. Uh, let's see, where can I find more potential farm triangles? Now it's really only these two spots here and here. In an ideal world, you want a farm triangle to be between two cities so they can kind of share it. Replaceable parts also gives extra hexagon adjacency. Yeah, but this comes so late into the game that it doesn't really matter. Why would you not do them for in a diamond? So that is the same concept, but only slightly more expanded. Um, you can do that, but that's... Um, okay. Are we going to have to reopen paint now? So here's why that's not good. Um, a farm triangle perfectly matches the criteria to, to double the output of your farms. Whereas a farm triangle, a tr uh, diamond, which a diangle, Jesus, which is a totally valid way to do things, um, has surplus farm adjacency. Because if you get a farm diamond, you ideally want to start adding even more farms to that to get even more farm adjacency. So the farm triangle is like a minimalist, perfect unit of farms. Uh, okay. Go settler. Jump in the water. Jump in the water. This builder needs to improve that, mm, that iron right there and then go wait for a chop order. 
Choppo. Right, so we got a settler in the capital. We're pretty close to getting mysticism. We're pretty close to getting drama and poetry. In terms of what I would like to do in my capital, I think I'd like to get a farmer, a builder, and then build these farms out here so I can continue to grow my capital really, really big. Name the next city Diangle. <laughs> Diangles. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I messed that one up. All right, so we're going to trade with Candy again. Uh, are we going to trade with Candy? Are we going to trade with Paris or Marseille? Marseille is actually a better trade route here, but I really like the gold. So I'm going to keep trading with Candy. Uh, let's get a friendship with the Netherlands, just so that we she won't declare war on me. There we go. Brilliant. All hail the mighty Diangle. All right, next city we'll we'll name it Diangle. So I'm trying to scout very conservatively here. Um, because the more I scout uh, without being Suzerain of Candy, the uh, more I might miss out on a relic. Okay. Improve that fishing boat. And then I want to get this fishing boat up and then that'll finish Celestial Navigation for me. Did you link those up? Okay, there's mysticism victory type. We're most likely going to be going for a um, culture victory. So we'll improve that. Then we'll improve that next turn. Send Envoy. We can take control of Candy now. Now that I'm Suzerain of Candy, I feel much more confident in exploring. Hello. Uh, please tell me that's not Petra. That's Jebel Barkal. Okay, it kind of looks like Petra. We're going to want to get our hands on a campus soon. Because we need to get the mathematics. So, you head there. Uh, let's improve that iron. My religion looks to be naturally spreading. I could spread my religion for era score. I might do that. Let's make sure we're actually managing diplomacy properly. Hey, open borders with this guy. Let's also sell him some horses. Do I have open borders with Norway? Do I have open borders with the Netherlands? Managing diplomacy is important. So I'd like to head towards Petra now. We're going to make our way over there. Is there anything I need on the way? I'd love to pick up the wheel, actually. Yeah, I'm going to pick up the wheel first because I'm about to mine a resource. That's the wheel and iron working boosted. So this guy has one charge left. He's going to get prepared to start chopping for Petra. As is... This guy's going to go there. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there. Well, actually, on the way, you're going to build a farm. And so are you. I have 200 gold in the bank. Which is pretty good. I'd like to, I'd love to settle right there. But that's not going to be an option. All right, let's 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 have a look at our cities here and plan out some settlements. Um, right. If I settle here or here, I think I might settle here and then that'll be a farm triangle or a um, national park. Or I could settle there and screw the national park and take control of more water. Uh, is there a strategy to not sending delegations early to other civs? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Just like with the Mongols, just not. Uh, I usually just always sell, uh, send them because the higher the relationship you have with another sieve, the better chance is that they won't just straight up murder you. Genghis not, never got a delegation. Uh, I can't send him one now, so it's too late. I haven't mined the second iron. Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Reminding me. 
Uh, I crack me up sometimes. You'll probably be in a golden age next era, yes. Which is why I'd like to get more faith income. Man, alright, so let, let's talk about the settling strategy. Um... So ideally, I think a city here and a city here to take advantage of that Petra adjacency. Oh man, I kind of wish I'd built my pyramids where the Petra is and my Petra here. That way I could get two theater squares in between them. If I had been thinking about that, that would have been the right move. So I think we'll settle here. We'll settle here. This one will never will never be a very good city, but that's fine. One, two, three. And then I'll settle there. Uh, one, two, three. And then I'll settle there. Uh, one, two, three. And then I'll settle there. So that's the current short-term settling plan. So I'm going to probably settle the furthest one of those. First. A free settler isn't really free. It isn't really free. It does come at a cost, but it's still really good. Uh, okay, government plaza completed. I th Do I want to go for Ancestral Hall this game? I really, I actually have been really growing on um, Audience Chamber. Audience Chamber has been growing on me, I gotta say. Oh, that's a good call, actually. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that thing that someone's saying. Because cities cannot claim tiles that are directly adjacent to another city. So I can't put the theater square here and here. It is. It would be a really good idea if both these wonders were shifted out one tile. And that, yeah, so like, unfortunately, that just doesn't work. But it was a good, it was a good idea. Click on the settler. I mean, it's just a hockey. I just press the hockeys to like toggle through them, one through nine or whatever. Um. Okay. I'd love to get the holy site. It's actually a pretty decent holy site right there. Three is the minimum distance between cities. Yes, exactly. The reason why I'm counting three is three, you can't have it cities closer than three tiles away from each other. So one, two, three tiles in between. One, two, three tiles in between. So that's these are the closest that the cities can be settled, right? One, two, three. This is the po closest possible way that these cities could be settled together. I really like, I really like Ancestral Hall, but I'm going to go Audience Chamber this game. Uh, I'm also going to promote Pingala. I want Connoisseur. I actually really want Researcher right now. Because my culture is pretty strong and my science is pretty weak. And now that I got that, I'm up to 14 science per turn. And I should be able to make my way towards Mathematics pretty easily. I will want to build a Theatre Square pretty soon. I'm about to unlock them. I, I think the Netherlands is being murdered by Mongolia. Because I'm hearing things die. All right, builder completed in the capital. You're going to place a farm there. That'll give me the boost for irrigation. You're going there. You're going there. You're improving that. Builder completed. I have 300 gold in the bank. The question is, what do I build? I could go for the early harbor. But I think I'm going to go for the harbor in Leon instead. 
So I'm probably going to sink one turn into a granary and then go for the theater square in the city. Stitch, you're a godsend answering questions in chat. I appreciate that, man. I get the same questions all the goddamn time. Oh, no, you're an hour late. Well, that's the beauty of a live stream, Sarah. You can just rewind. All right, there is drama and poetry. Beautiful. And if you play it on 2x speed, you'll catch up pretty quick. I'm going to place my theater square here. Because that's where I want it. I'm going to prioritize the theater square. I want to get that finished if I can. I think I'm going to prioritize getting this online too. A nice farm triangle for the future. Uh, and then I might purchase the water mill. I'm going to prioritize growth in here a little bit more. Eight turns to grow. Or do I want to prioritize production? Seven turns. Yeah, I think I'll prioritize production in here. There's no chops in the capital, unfortunately. So I won't be able to chop out Mahabodhi, so I'll have to build it. So I'll need to save gold to purchase my temple. Uh, is this too slow to grow? It shaved so many turns off growth to work the wheat. Hey, nice. So we got our very first relic, which is amazing because we do have the reliquaries belief. So we're getting 24 tourism per turn from that against three different civilizations out of the seven in the game. Oh, sorry. I missed a uh, subscriber. Cantrell Malloy became a uh, 2.5 spuddy. Thank you so much. And Johannes Schupp uh, became 2.5 spuddy as well. Thank you so much. What victory condition is he doing? Looks like we're going for a culture game so far. French ride. He's going for tourism using faith in cities. Probably culture unless something drastic happens. Uh, Mongolian horse nukes. What's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Uh, I actually like doing them kind of oven oven fries. Basically what you do is you, you chop up some potatoes. You boil them in water to blanch them. You let them cool off on a tray. Then you coat them in olive oil. And you put them into a oven at 220 degrees for about an hour or two. And they come out like little shards of potato glass. They're beautiful. So I'm going to be I'm going to be very conservative in my exploration now. Sometimes. I don't want to find more natural wonders until I have room for more relics. So I only have room for one right now. So I'm going to be waiting until I have my temple to do more exploration really. I want you to stay here to fog bust. You're not moving anywhere. I'm being very conservative in how I play right now. I'm going to put a farm here. That's going to give me the triangle that I'm looking for. Uh, for when feudalism appears, which will allow me to get a really big and strong city. Why not divine inspiration as a follower belief? Um, what does that one do again? Divine inspiration. World wonders provide plus four faith. Um, because I don't need faith generation. Is really what it comes down to. And I think it was already taken actually. One of these already took it. I think Protestantism had already taken it. Okay. So that stone's going to have to get harvested. But you're going to go stand there. I've got choppers in position. Let's go improve that wheat and then we'll get you over here. Okay, this swordsman is an issue. And I do not have a tissue. So we're going to be falling back. Hello, Ottomans. Nice to meet you. Exchanging information on a cap. Looks like these guys all spawned on a continent together. I'm going to send him a delegation. I'm going to get... No, I don't want to make a demand. Excuse me. I want to do open borders. Mutual. Very good. And then I want, uh, I would like to sell him, although I need to maybe keep some of that. I'll sell him 10 iron and 10 horses for eight gold and three gold per turn. Fueling my economy by wheeling and dealing.
Stay right there. Wait. Faith is needed for rock bands and naturalists in the late game. Yes, as well. And we're also going for a bit of a relic build here. Uh, we're going to try it out. Because we got pretty lucky. And I'm going to go for Mahabodhi and Mont Saint Michel. If I can get them. I don't know if I'll be able to get them. But I'll give it my best attempt. Okay, Monument in Ambois. Just finished. Ambois. Ambois. Let's go for the harbor in here. I want to trade route. It's a 19 turn build. The city is going to be kind of neglected for a while. I guess I could go for the granary first. Neglecting my cities. Is not ideal, but sometimes is the right move. I'm going to go for harbor first in here. But I'll go Monument Granary. Granary Monument? Granary Monument. We'll send help to those cities once we have Petra. So Petra is like my big priority right now. And then it's Mahabodhi Mont Saint Michel. So you have one build charge. I'm going to send you over there. So I do need more gold. If I could get it. Oh, Diangle. That's right. I should rename the city to the Diangle. Right, there's Theology. Rename Bordeaux to the Diangle. So ideally what I do here is purchase this temple. I need another 100 gold. I'm getting 25 gold per turn. There's three turns in the theater square. So in reality, I only need a little bit of gold. Um, let's see. Is there a way I can get that little bit of gold from you? Well, I can, I can always wait a few turns. Before I, before I really need to get it. Let's get to work on mathematics. We should get that fairly quickly. Now that we have Mahabodhi Temple, I'd like to head towards the mausoleum. I'm also going to pick up military tradition because this gives me flanking and support combat bonuses. Then we'll go for defensive tactics. I have Suzerainty of Candy. That's good. Look at the minimap. It's Great Britain. I mean, that feels like a bit of a stretch, but okay. You wait there, you wait there, you're waiting. Okay, this is as far as I'm going to explore now. Your delegation is most welcome. Should, shouldn't it be Le Diangle? Sure. Le Diangle. Le Diangle. No, no, no. There's got to be a space. Silamod all the olives and nothing else. Yeah. Typical Sula, Sula man, Sula, Sula one, Sula dos, Sula three, Sula fourths. Okay. And that's as far as I feel safe. Because I don't want to reveal a natural wonder without actually getting the relic for it. So there's that civic. Now, speaking of things I'll need. I'm going to want early holy sites in my cities if I can get them. So I'm thinking holy site right there and holy site right there. Marseille can put their holy site right there. Let's get you onto that tile to defend. So all these builders are just waiting for the Petra. Are we actually building settlers? We are building one settler, so that's fine. Uh, this is a culture victory attempt, and we are playing on a continent's map. Okay, there's the theater square. We have the amphitheater as an option. What we're going to do is look to get the extra 10 gold to purchase the temple so that we can immediately start the Mahabodhi temple. So we're going to go in here. We're going to talk to uh, the Ottomans. I'm just going to be looking to get, like, here's 20 of these, uh, here's 10 of these. How much would you give me? So that looks like he'd actually give me enough, so I'll just take that deal. So then I come in here, I purchase my temple, which means I can immediately get to work on the... M what? Oh, I don't own the tile. Okay, I was panicking there that I messed up. Thankfully, I did not. Mahabodhi is on the way. We are going to want to edit our government. I'm going to just pull out colonization and plug in Corvi.
That'll take that down to 22 turns. Do I harvest this? 48 production. I think we can hard build this. This city has really good production. Hmm. Yeah, this city's fine the way it is. I do wish it had a granary. Delay by two turns for a granary? No, not worth it. The Ketha Mahabodhi Temple all the same. Fortify, you have support combat as well. So if we look at this guy's combat strength, he loses on the offense, but he should win on the defense. Defense. Ra ra ra. This is a continents map. For all the people asking, can you start exploring again because you have another relic slot? Yes, I can. There's Vilnius. Vilnius, Vilnius. And I was actually the first person to meet them. That's huge. Wow. Okay. Do I already have tourists? I should be getting close. Yeah, look at that. So much. You can see on the defense, we succeeded in staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, send the delegation to Genghis. Good call. Make his acquaintance. Be friends with him. So I've got four builders in position for the Petra build once this audience chamber is finished. I feel like I get Petra in way too many of my games. It's such a fun wonder to go for. The dome with the echo will tell them at a glance. What are the city state quests for Vilnius and Candy? Candy is to recruit a great admiral. Vilnius is to trigger an inspiration for games and recreation, which I'm not going to be able to do uh, because I need to build a water mill and I don't have the gold for it. I mean, maybe there's a Hail Mary. Like if I can get enough gold to purchase a water mill, I can do that. I would need another 200 gold. So I need to somehow acquire 200 gold which I don't think I can do right now. Like, even if I gave all of this, what if I gave you 20 iron? Actually, I can. How much? 350. Okay, 325. Okay, 315. 317, 319, 321, 320. 320 gold, okay. So I just got a water mill. I can buy that in my capital, actually, since I already have wheat in here. Now the city will grow really, really quickly. But more importantly, I got another envoy. Oh, shoot. It needs to be a research construction. Oh, there's no way. Well, I just got a free water mill because I misread the tooltip. Whoops. <laughs> Derp. I uh, had a complete brain fart moment. It's like my brain parsed that information wrong. Uh, we will go for the Petra. After the audience chamber. Look to put a foothold city on the new continent. That's not my priority right now. My priority right now is to get the important wonders. I can settle later. Um, if you look at my culture and science, I'm actually not too far behind. So I'm not under pressure. So I can take my time. I already have a defensive settlement here, protecting the southern half. And you realistically only need six cities to win a game. More just helps. And in order to do that, I would have to redirect away from mathematics. Um, and go for shipbuilding. So. We shan't be doing that just yet. And I'd like to get my cities over here built up. So where is my next dangle jangle? What I could do is... Once this Petra is finished, 
I'm probably going to settle this city and use all this chopping in here to settle the other cities. So that's the plan. Uh, I finished the settler in here. I really want to go for the mausoleum. This city is actually way behind where it should be for mausoleum. So it's going to need help in the form of chops and stuff like that. Kind of messed that up. It's not a big deal. Didn't you just change the tech path? I did. Let's go ahead and take Connoisseur for the extra culture on Pingala. Now we're up to quite a lot of this. Do you have the Wonder Building Policy card plugged in? I do, and I'm also in Autocracy, which gives me 10% production towards Wonders. So I'm getting very high Wonder production right now. Um, so this harvest right here is it should be worth more. I have the wrong city working this tile. Are you working that tile? You're not working that tile. So I'd like to purchase that tile. I'll do that next turn. Swordsman galore, Jesus. We'll use the scouts to get new stuff from the con new continents. Yes, that is the plan. These scouts are going to head to the east uh, when the time comes. Right, right now I was using them to defend my, my cities. And um, boys, we're going to go for the harbor. This city needs a builder really, really bad. I can't afford to get a builder over there, though, just because, like, I'm so busy. Well, you know what? Build a builder. Help other cities first. Okay, let's buy this tile. And now we can see that this chop is worth 78 production. Now, I know for a fact Petra is, like, 400 production. So that means I currently have in store in these builders 78 plus 78. I need to do some quick quick math. So that's uh, 7, 8 times 2, 150 times 1.25. Uh, so I have currently half of the Wonders production tied up in chops right here. So I just need to get one more tile uh, in a reasonable amount of time. And I should be able to finish this really, really quickly. Big problem is the city doesn't have tile improvements. Like if there was two mines here, the city would be really chonking along. So this actually frees up this builder since I only need three chops to finish this. Um, if I go 78 times three multiplied by 1.25, that's 300 production. So yeah, I'll, I'll only ever need three chops for this. So I can save one of my builder charges for like these horses over here, which I can then sell to the AI and stuff and use my gold to get more stick, more stuff. Uh, next turn, can you take Susan of Vilnius? Very nice start of the era. I could take Susan of Vilnius. But I want to make sure I hold Sus Vanity of Candy. So that's like really important to me. So I'm going to hold on to my envoys, especially since I don't have any amphitheaters right now. So here's our Golden Age. So this is actually a really big moment for us. This Golden Age... Uh, is another way that we're going to get a bunch of settlers from monumentality. Especially since we can do um, pen, brush, and voice, Exodus the Evangelist, and monumentality. We're going to skip free inquiry this game because we don't have harbors or commercial hubs up right now. But we're instead going to do these three. The Exodus of the Evangelist is going to give us plus four great profit points, which is going to convert into faith, which we can use for monumentality. Pen, brush, and voice is going to give us culture from every district we already have. So if we come over here, look at my culture, it should jump up. 232. That's a pretty nice significant jump. And um, yeah, so next, I think I'm going to wait until I have this governor title and I have a uh, provision on Magnus so that I can start spamming out purchasing settlers. It'll only delay it by a few turns, but it preserves the population in here. So I think that's worthwhile doing. If you haven't, if you haven't changed recently, if you haven't recently, please change your password. YouTube channels are falling left and right. They just hit Neebs Gaming too many subs. Love your Protect yourselves. Uh, I use a very cryptographically secure password. Very, 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 very cryptographically secure. 
Uh, I think the only way you would have to have like a ridiculous brute force attack or a keylogger to get my password. My password is so cryptographically secure, I don't remember it. Um, take that as you will. So let's think about what's going on right now. Religion-wise, uh, so there's probably some motivation to vote down Buddhism from other players because it's currently winning the religious victory. Um, and it really depends. Like, let's have a look at the faith run right now. I don't think any of these guys are making enough faith to where they think they're going to try to win a, uh, a religious victory right now. So with regards to this, I'm going to vote down Buddhism once. And then I'm going to vote down making units cheaper to build with production because the AI usually votes for that one. So hopefully I, I pr pr predicted correctly here. A thousand year flood and candy. Yikes. Uh, okay, so whoever is doing Buddhism. Why would you choose? Wait, why would you guys want Buddhism to win? Why? What? Why would you vote to make Buddhism stronger, you idiots? Why don't you stream on Twitch? Uh, I don't stream on Twitch because my audience is on YouTube and they don't really come over to Twitch. And um, Twitch wasn't really offering a lot for my channel. I've explained this like a million times. I will say that. Um, Twitch wasn't offering a lot for me. Like, uh, in terms of growth or anything like that. So I just opted to move my streaming to YouTube because it was it, like, there's a whole bunch of reasons. Um, it's easier to manage the YouTube channel if my, because then I don't have to like download my VODs from Twitch. <clears throat> I don't have to like download my VODs from Twitch, like carefully manage and, and, you know, sync the audio and then upload them to YouTube, right? It's just, it's just way easier um, to stream to Twitch. Okay, it looks like somebody's getting a emergency. Ottomans. Okay. See what I mean? The AI don't get fate. Are you planning on releasing an art museum versus archaeological museum video soon? Not yet. Not soon. But it is something I plan to do. All right. Let's settle here. Oh, I just fucked myself. Shoot, I now I need this chop right here because I just took this chop away from Marseille. Um, so this city is going to do Granary Monument. Monument Granary, I think. We'll delete that pin. So let's purchase this tile. I need a little bit more gold. And then take this tile. Uh, Norway. What's up, buddy? What about my iron? It's meant to be 20, not 1. Really? You'd give me 5 gold per turn, but not 100 gold. Okay. Deal. Deal or no deal? I take deal. Let's see if anyone else wants to buy horses. Uh, we'll wait a turn or two on horses, actually. It's Kabul. We were the first to meet Kabul, too. Interesting. Horses improved. That's going to give me even more things to sell to the AI. Hey, Matt. Hi, Peter. We used to play League and WoW together. My IGM is Aleski. I remember you, Aleski. I met you through Morpus and Stitch. Love your channel. Aren't we friends on Steam, Aleski? And I'm pretty sure I'm in like the same couple, like a couple of Facebook, same Facebook groups as you. All right, there's Mausoleum. We're not ready to build it though. 81 production. So I really need enough gold to buy this tile. So that'll be 130. Uh, how much is this? I need a little bit. I need a little bit. I need a little bit of money. How much would you pay for this? You give me eight gold. Would you give me a hundred gold? Let me see here. I'm gonna buy my wine. You already have wine. All right, Ottomans. I will offer you my wine. So 
So he'll give you 170 gold plus like maybe two gold per turn. Three? Two gold per turn. Got it. So that means I should be able to get Petra soon. Like next couple of turns soon. I'll check the numbers right now. Let me get my calculator. So it's 81 times 3 times 1.25. That means I have 303 production in chops. I have no technology ready to research. So now is a safe time to chop. And we'll get the Petra in two turns. Beautiful. Now... I'm going to pick up Irrigation, and I should pick up Archery, realistically. So you should be able to jump in the water. Go explore. Oh my god! I'm going to need an Archer. Uh, anyone else love playing Civ 6? Smirk. Potato, you might need to buy the mountain as well. No, I don't need to buy the mountain. Uh, you already got the relics. It's any. But your name is the Elect the election wrangler and immediately thought of russia <laughs> i think you're already missing out a lot of faith but not taking seeds around any one of those city states on the other islands faith how do these guys give me faith they would give me diplomatic favor okay so let's say i took diplomat let's say i took seeds around of vilnius i would get plus one diplomatic favor right now um and then nothing else i would get no other bonuses because I don't have any amphitheaters. So holding on to my envoys in a situation where I'm currently not getting benefits from spending them makes sense to me. I'd like to get feudalism. I want to get monarchy for Mont Saint Michel. Build two campuses, grow a city to 10 pop, and build two temples. We're not going to do any of those. Building six farms might happen. Man, how much do I value the feudalism? It would severely delay Mont Saint Michel. Feudalism is real good. I'll delay it. Mahabodhi Temple is eight turns away. Granada, I might put one point into. Will this also be uploaded? Yes, all of my YouTube live streams are automatically uploaded. That's the beauty of YouTube Live. Gold. Give me gold. Thank you. Let's get a friendship with Genghis. Genghis Khan. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I need Suzrani to have Granada to get around here. That's annoying. And I can't get Suzrani to have Granada. Equally annoying. Potential set settles over here as well. Everything potato. Evening potato. Great, great to catch live. You would see what is on that land. Sue's raining them would do some exploring for me. Yes, that's true. Uh, you see, the problem is if I lose Sue's Randy Day Candy, it's like a pain in the ass. I'll do it since you guys are so persistent. Right, there's Geneva. I was the first to meet Geneva too. It was kind of worth it to do, I guess. But now I'm worried about Candy being taken from me. Petra is a brilliant display. All right, brilliant. There is Petra. We also have irrigation. Uh, you could promote Magnus and start buying settlers. Correct. I completely forgot to do that. Thank you for reminding me. I got a bit distracted. There's Magnus. Now I really want a theater square. I also really want a holy site. But theater square is my priority, I think. Let's get that theater square. It's a plus four theater square. I can't really, I can't justify delaying that ever. It's like that good. Let's get these little scouts going. You're just going to auto explore. You're too out of the weeds. God damn it. I hate quad dry reams, man. Best move is to attack it and then run away. 
got an arrow in. Pretty much how I approach all of my problems. Okay, this guy's dead, unfortunately. Just attack it and run away. Pocket sand. Remove Petra pin? No. Okay. Uh, choose research. So I think I'd really like to pick up apprenticeship here. Which means I'm going to want to build one more mine. Which means I'm going to buy a settler. And then I'm going to purchase a builder. In my capital. And put it right there. Rip. Rip Arino. I'm going to need archers to improve that cotton. Now now it's worth it to improve the cotton because we can sell it to someone for big gains. Six gold per turn. Beautiful. Ottomans. How would you like some elephants? Eight gold per turn. Thank you. Chingus. How would you like to buy my wine? You have broke. Get out of here. No way, buy my wine. Four gold, that's not enough. Ottomans, buy my wine. One gold. Wilhelm? Kaiser Wilhelmina of the Dutch. Wow, nobody wants this. What the fuck? Give me that four gold, I'll take it. Uh, Kaiser Wilhelmina of the Dutch. Give me that. We'll sell to you. You have horses. You have horses. You do not have horses. The reason I like to play is Koopa and non Pangea map, you just get caught with yourself. Quiet screaming. <laughs> Remove the Ruhr Valley pin. Every time, uh, every time I get asked to remove a pin, I'm going to make a new pin. Maybe your wine sucks. What the fuck is this wine shaming going on here? All right, I need an archer. I don't want to build it, so I'm going to purchase it. Modern problems require modern solutions. If you can buy an election, you can buy an archer. BTFO Bloomberg boys. Okay, there is horseback riding. And recorded history. Let's pop this in here. Shabam. Delete that pin. Calais. Uh, Kalele Lele is going to need some help. I'll hit you with my Kalele. Uh, I think it would be good to get the Yang. And plonk her down in Rhymes. Nay, I shall plonk her into Masseu. And then I'll reassign Magnus into Rhymes. And when this is done, we'll start chopping settlers out. Boom, there's apprenticeship boosted. I can change my government. Am I still building wonders? I'm building one wonder. For now, so I'll leave Corvi in. Uh, don't give me that much power. I'll screen. You. I'll fill your screen with spins. Can you please add more rear pins? No. I'm just a contrarian. I'll just do the opposite of whatever you guys want. Especially if I think you're trying to tell me the opposite of what you really want. To make me do what you really want. Try to wrap your noggin around that one. Remove city pin. Yes, okay, I, I did it. There you go. Remove the Mahabodhi temple pin. It's already gone. So I can infer that you want me to add it back, which is not something that I'm going to do. There's actually a farm triangle right here. It's actually not a... T it's actually a huge farm quadrangle. We're going to dangle the quadrangle. But I think I'm going to do a double chop down here in Lyon. To get the harbor finished. And then get to work on... Oh my god, I can actually get a Temple of Artemis? What? Temple of Fartemis? How many camps do we have? Each camp, pasture, and plantation would provide thingy. It's actually not a bad spot. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. Get the F out of here, Harbor. We're going for the Temple of Fartimus. Okay, builder completed in here. Let's go for the Harbor. 
Waiting for you to establish. Okay, I definitely want to get these mines online. Now that I'm getting apprenticeship. Why do you make all the cities so close together and make a bunch of crappy cities instead of making decent cities? Um... The closer you settle your cities, the more cities that you can get. The more cities that you can get, uh, the better. Because your ability to generate resources is dependent on the number of cities that you have, not on the quality of those cities. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to purchase that there. Ouch. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. That's actually... Can we take a moment here to witness what just happened? A tornado family blew through my entire empire, wiping out every productive tile in my capital, simultaneously crippling my holy site, and cucking me out of Mahabodhi Temple when I was one turn away from finishing it. That's the most horrendous natural... Who told me to put natural disaster at level 4? Who, who did that? Name your name. Who was it? Name your name and feel your shame. How dare you. That's gross. That's genuinely just gross so we're going to hold on to our chops here better than letting go of the chops am i right free builder i'll take it get in there quick Uh, so if we think about Calais and what we want to do with it, I'm thinking Harbor. Right there. That's pretty good. Then Theater Square uh, here at some point. And then I'll probably put a holy site in between. Well, no. Do we have a reef nearby? We do not. So I'll probably just do holy site like there. And then that'll be this city. It'll just... Have a little bit of production, a little bit of holy site, a little bit of culture, a little bit of faith, right? Just do all the normal things. You mess with the pin gods, pay back for the pins. Yeah, probably, almost certainly what happened there. My god. I need a builder in this city. To rebuild, I can't even afford to do what I wanted to do. Hold your chops. Storm Dennis. True. Let's do mutual open borders and you give me even more. Got you back for all the exploits I used. Taru. How am I losing this fight? Fall back and heal. Re-improving tiles I already improved. Feels bad, man. Purchase that. Get out of here. Uh, let's go watermill, granary, monument in here. Slowly building that city up. I want to go into the water here, but I'm scared of getting murdered. So we're going to start walking down to the south. You don't listen to chat. How do you get amenities in your cities? Do you go for... I just basically ignore amenities until the late game. In all honesty, I have put zero effort into amenities right now, and I'm doing fine. I swear to God, if I lose my Habody Temple, I'm actually going to cry and like uninstall the game and delete the VOD so no one can ever see my shame.
What changes would you like to see for Civ 7? I think it's a bit early to like make a call on that. I feel like we're a long ways out from Civ 7. Still so much left of like Civ, 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 Civ 6's life cycle. Major flood in the... Oh my god. Now my theater square has just been zonked. Good god. I need another builder in here. Where are you? Thoughts about yields being dramatically uh, reduced after the city's been captured, even after the war ends. I've been trying to think about how to make domination wins less snow -wally. I mean, I feel like the loyalty mechanic does that pretty well. It already does the thing that you're suggesting. So how much production is left on the Artemis? I need more relics. Big time. Big time need more relics. So you make all those uh, cities such as Clay, they will make, make amenity and housing problems in the future. Even in the middle game, they're bad enough cities, but you think it's still worth it? Yes. So, in a dusty, uh, bustling corner of so there's the Mahabodhi the Temple. So this is a fully evangelized religion, and we get a bunch of Eris lore. Um, so like, there's, all, there's like a lot, like, obviously there's a diminishing return on the number of cities that you get, but like, there's absolutely no reason to space my cities out further than they are right now. Because every single bonus in the game scales with the number of cities, not with the quality of those cities. So, like, if my goal this game is to generate as much culture and tourism as possible, the particular strategy that I'm using involves, uh, well, pretty much now, actually, going for walls, right? We're going to start, like, researching and building walls at this point in the game. Um, the amount of culture and tourism I can potentially achieve scales off the number of cities that I get. Because if I have, if I have two cities, I can get 12 tourism from them. If I have three cities, I can get 18. So every, every city that I add to my collection, my collection increases the possible amount of a yield that I need for my victory that I can achieve. Does that make sense? The quality of your cities actually doesn't really matter that much in Civ 6. Like, it really doesn't matter that much. Not as much as in, say, earlier games. Because you have a lot of tools to make up for the low quality of your cities. Trade routes, uh, moving builders around. So, let the angle. It's going to work in a harbor. I want those trade routes and gold and stuff. Now, one thing that worries me is that somebody is earning great riders. And it's not me. So I need to start earning more great riders and building more theater squares. Uh, hey, Potato, have fun with the game. Going back to see it from the start. Cheers. See you later, Jan. Was a, uh, was Anna. Uh, what's your favorite victory condition? I really like tourism. Tourism is the one that I really like. Also, somebody left the heating on. I'm going to be back in like two seconds. Uh, I was watching a Jenna Marbles video earlier and that's uh, the one where she's talking to her dog and she's like Kermit you're a nasty boy and just whatever it is the way, about the way she says nasty boy makes me laugh holy shit it's warm 
see is Korea in this game? Yeah, Korea is in this game. If somebody left the heating on, uh, like my desk has a radiator right underneath it. So whenever someone turns the heating on, I get fucking roasted, dude. Okay, let's evangelize twice. Uh, right. Uh, you've exercised new apostles. Why not use them for improving your religion? Uh, there's no need to use them. I'm not interested in spreading my religion. Okay, so we have holy orders. Let's see here. Let's think about what our next move is. So in terms of religious building, good ones to get are the Dare Mur is good for just raw faith production, as is the stupa because it gives you amenities. I really like the stupa, so I'm going to take the stupa. In terms of this, I think church property is a great belief here. Plus two gold from your religion. It's fantastic. We have a fully evangelized religion. Once we have the Mont Saint Michel, we will have a very reliable way to convert faith into relics. I'm curious, do I already have? I already have a tourist. Look at that. So a big priority for me now is exploration. Um, I need to meet more people. Like it's a big, 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 big priority. So that's 59 production. I think now is the time to chop. I'm surprised these city-states got their own little island. It's a bit weird. Military training. Faith. Yikes. That's a swordsman. Coming for me. And I don't feel safe going into the water with quadrireams running around, so I might try to escape out this way. This barbarian encampment is being annoying. Okay, Marseille is building a water mill. That would make this into actually a pretty decent farm for growth. Cartography time. I can't afford to go for cartography. It's too many turns that I'm not researching walls with such a low science. My science is incredibly low right now. So I have to really, really, really prioritize. The but there's the Temple of Artemis, which is cool. Um, that's always nice. A bunch of amenities. Right? Uh, let's get that harbor. Let's purchase the granary in here. This city needs help in order to get the mausoleum. Colosseum would be m amazing. And the city to get it in would be in Marseille. If I could get it up to a population of reasonable size. Take your boat off auto explore. The okay, there's civil service. I can get my alliances now. I'm going to start working on those. Tribal villages. Run away. Um, get into the city. Run that way. Alliances. I'm going to make an alliance with Genghis Khan. How would you like a military alliance? Okay, Ottomans, how would you like an economic alliance? Thank you. So that'll make sure that these guys are friendly with me. These guys will be upset because I'm allied to their enemies, but it's whatever. Can't be friends with everyone, nor would you want to be. Oh my god, it's so windy. Do you know how nice that breeze is? It's actually a little bit too nice. I think it's going to blow my window off its hinges. Jesus Christ. Cultural alliance, whatever has your south influence? No. Uh, I don't want to get a cultural alliance with anyone who's close to me, because then they might settle here. I can I can I can deal with this. This isn't a problem for me. Alright. Uh, okay. So I want the mausoleum in here. 
How many farms do I have? Do I have enough? One more farm for feudalism. Put that right there. Chop the stone where the mausoleum is going to be placed. So I'm setting up a very specific timing. Where I'm waiting for the second the harbor is finished. Um, to do that chop. That's why I had that builder over there. Okay, I could build a stupa. I'm going to go for the amphitheater. It's now time I started focusing on getting my actual great works. I need to start getting as many of them as I can. Take a moment to heal. Still Susan of Candy. Let's go into the water and explore. You explore up here. Might be some natural wonders up here. Will you ever do a face cam? I've done face cams like a, a bunch of different times. It's like sometimes I don't feel like doing it. <clears throat> All right. So big thing is I could go for the amphitheater in here, but this is the Liang city and it's also the Petra city. So this city got so much help sent to it in the early game. It's now time for it to give back to my empire and build units for other cities. So I definitely would like in this city to get my hands on a theater. I have a theater square. Sorry to get my hands on a campus right there. It's not a bad campus. It might be slightly better to put it there. It's a slightly better campus because it has a slightly higher potential. Um, I also want a holy site in here. So I'm kind of just planning out the tiles I want in my cities to make sure I don't block anything that I really, really want. I think I might put a harbor in that lake. Like so. Um, jury's out in a lot of decisions there. We can start hammering this guy with my archer. While I'm simultaneously running away with my warrior. Okay, this builder. Tiles in my capital are mostly improved. Which is exactly where we want to be. Are the, are the other reason why you want to avoid... Um, the other reason why you want to sp uh, build as many cities as possible is because it takes a very long time to grow a city. Um, you need so much food and so much investment that it's often better just to build a lot of really small cities. Can you do a face cam, please? Uh, no, not today. I don't feel like it. It's usually only if I feel like it. Uh, pity that you have the worst possible location to play as Eleanor. How long does it usually take to edit your Let's Plays? About as long as it takes to play them. So if it's like a six hour game, probably takes about six hours to edit because I edit very quickly. I'm very, I'm very good at it now um, that I've done it for so long. The city is going to grow in four turns, so it will be able to place another district. Um, what will this district be? It'll probably be the harbor in here. Can you cover her tourism buffs? Uh, what do you mean? Remove your Mont Saint Michel pin. I haven't built it yet. Yes. Favorite Civs theme song in 6? Uh, I really like the Australian Waltzing Matilda one. I don't know why. Uh, either the Australian Waltzing Matilda or the um, Arabian sort of... In, is it the modern era techno kind of song they have? Or, or the Ottomans are really good music too. I like them all actually. I don't know. I just like the Waltzing Matilda because it's one that I uh, have heard before. There's a very, very popular song, Irish Irish folk song, called, uh, based around the Waltzing Matilda. It was about um, Irish soldiers who fought for Australia in Gallipoli against the Turkish um, Ottoman Turks. At least I think it was, at least I, the first time I heard it was an Irish song. Uh, I don't know if it was like actually an Australian folk song. Uh, we don't mention Alexander Stream. Start chopping settlers out with rhyme and rhyme. Yeah, it's probably a good move. Uh, Potato, have you considered that St. Basil's in your capital for that juicy double relic tourism in that city? Mm, it could potentially go here somewhere. I haven't decided against it. 
but it's not what I'm looking for right now. All things in good time. Right now, I'm focused on getting Mont Saint Michel. Uh, will you not forget about the Harbor card this game? Oh God, did I forget about it? Oh my fucking God. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I guess we know the answer to that question. The answer was I forgot about it already. God, that change just always throws me for a loop. Um, okay. So I want to harvest out settlers here. Now the trick is I want to have the settler production card in. So if I harvest this, that's a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So help rhymes with the builder. Well, Rhymes' job is to chop out settlers. That's really what Rhymes exists for, to use all this chopping area here for build, for builders, for, for settlers, sorry. Uh, I can't purchase a settler in here just yet, but I wanna, I'm gonna wait on these chops until I have the settler card plugged in. I'm gonna wait one more turn on that chop. Okay, we ran into Lisbon. I was not the first to meet Lisbon. Lisbon's a very viable city-state though. I might send them an envoy as soon as I get one. Sorry, Potato, sometimes I forget this 50% settler card. Yeah, I do that all the time, dude. Okay, harbor in here. We want to build the mausoleum. But before we put the mausoleum on the stone, it's 42 turns of production. What we'll instead do in here is we'll harvest the stone for 61 production. And now it's only 35 turns for the mausoleum, right? 35 turn mausoleum isn't terrible. Leon will eventually be a good city. Um, I'd like to purchase the lighthouse in here because that's going to give the city growth. And then I'll be able to purchase a trader in here for faith gold. I'm going to wait for the gold on that one because I need my faith to purchase um, settlers. Waiting on that. Tribal village. Beautiful. Why do you always have Suleiman in your games? I have no idea. I just pure luck. I think the Turkish people just... I think I just get along with Turkish people. So they just want to be in all my games, dude. All right, we'll take Alpine as well. Okay, I'm going to take uh, Feudalism because it's only two turns. And then we'll go for Divine Right. Lighthouse. I'd like to ideally purchase this Lighthouse. So I'm going to take the time to just hard build a trader in here. Then I'm going to put one Envoy into Lisbon because plus four gold is very, very valuable. This is like a super fast scout now. Okay, we settle there. Let's make sure we swap in the Settler card. I still have Core V. Where is Veteran C? And I'll put in conscription as well. So now that I have that, I can harvest here. Get a settler with two chops of a builder. Beautiful. And I can also purchase a settler. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm so worried about not using the 50% that I tend to forget to plug it out when I'm done settling. Yeah, I, I often forget to plug it out too, as well as from plugging it in. Ruen! We'll go straight for a harbor in here. But first, I'm going to go for a granary monument because these are the basic buildings. Eventually, I'll get builders down here. My empire will... My empire will suck for a while. Uh, this is generally the suck stage of an empire. So now I want to faith purchase another builder to send down there. Oh, there we have a, we have a faith purchased builder. That can head to rhymes. Forty turns for a settler. Where it's not going to take forty turns because you plan to chop it. There's feudalism. I'd love to plug in that Builder card, but I'm going to wait until I've chopped out this Settler. 
envoy. I'm gonna hold on to that envoy for now. Jump in the water. See if you can make your way around. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Amphitheater in the capital. Two turns until we get the Mont Saint Michel started. I'm going to place the harbor. There's the settler. The settler will ideally go down here, but I think I'm going to start settling over here on this island. Um, there's like this city over here is a really, really good. Um, what's the word? What's the word for a city that you settle for national parks? National Park City, I guess. I really want a quadrireme, so I might purchase that with my gold. Upgrade the warrior for Eriscore to help you with the barbs. Uh, Eriscore wise, I don't need the Eriscore right now. Okay, there's the Khmer. Let's go ahead and sample their hospitality. Hello, Khmer. I assume that you made Buddhism, so I'm going to go ahead and send him a delegation. I'm going to get open borders. I'll request gold off him. And I don't, I can't sell him anything, so that's fine. But we've met another sieve. That's another sieve that we're generating tourists against, which is all goodness. I really need to find more of these national wonders, dude. It's actually kind of annoying. Um... that I haven't found them. Okay, let's try to turn Rhymes into a useful city. What can we do? So we're going to put it a harbor there. Uh, I'll probably do... some. I'll probably do an industrial zone in here, actually. Which means like aqueduct there, industrial zone here. This will be a production city that provides factory adjacency to everywhere. So with that in mind, luxury districts will include things like a uh, holy site eventually and a theater square. Like there. And then potentially a uh, entertainment park like there. So that's kind of like the plan for the city. So then we can improve every tile that isn't that. You get me? You dig? You're kind of stuck until you can get the cartography. Here's the problem with that. I, I have no choice because my strategy requires me to get Renaissance walls uh, reasonably early before before I get to military research. Okay. So I'm kind of stuck. I don't have a choice. I have to go for this. I know that I need cartography, but I need to at least get castles. Then I can maybe make my way towards Carto, right? So I'm, I'm aware of my exploration woes, right? But I'm also aware what the solution is and why I'm not doing it. It's like, I'm not just blindly making that decision. I've already thought about it. Uh, definitely worth it when you build the mausoleum. Exactly. The of okay, there's divine, right? There's also some um, engineers who give you tourism. So there's Divine Right. I think I'm going to plug in Divine Right for now. Because of that 50% influence. We lose the 10% towards Wonders, but that's fine. Um, but we can plug in Gothic Architecture. Right, we can plug in Gothic ar Architecture. And we can also plug in charismatic leader to get extra influence and then we can plug in lime so we can start building walls it's not it's not right now that we're going to be building walls but that's sort of one of the things we're going to want to work on over the next little while so now that we have this i want to pick up 
Reformed Church. Because my ideal government is theocracy right now. Monarchy is fine, but ideally theocracy. Yeah, I thought about the canal. Here's the problem with the canal here. The canal isn't unlocked until this phase of the tech tree, and it's really, really expensive. I'd rather just place the aqueduct and get the adjacency early. I don't really care about actually like moving units out of the city. I just want the adjacency. So I think the industrial zone is going to be the first thing we work on here district-wise. Um, and then the harbor. So I'll place both of those. But I'll make sure I prioritize the granary. And now that we have castles, I'd like to unlock engineering. Which means I would like to unlock build ancient walls somewhere. So can I build those? There, we could do a two-turn ancient wall here. We've got another builder. All right, let's start trying to find cities that are neglected and that need help. I'm going to use my gold here to get a lighthouse. And then I'll get something in there for that. All right, so this trade route-wise, I think farms up here make sense. Uh, a whole stack of farms in here definitely makes sense. Because that'll give these cities a bunch of growth. Play the Ottomans next. That's not how the A to Z challenge works. We go in the order of leader names. Is there a great admiral that lets you pass ocean tiles? I think so. But he's probably already gone. How have I not gotten my great rider yet? Did somebody beat me to a great rider? No, it just hasn't manifested yet. Yosemite in the south of the map. That's the one we already found. There's Jerusalem. I'll put one envoy into Jerusalem. Don't go that way. That damn quadrari and making my life hard. The sex bot bots have arrived. Oh god. Took them long enough to find me, eh? Don't forget to start the wonder in Paris. I want to wait till the harbor is finished first. Do I? Yeah, because then I can purchase the trade route. So let's get a trade route in Paris. Can't just get it yet. Need another turn. Okay, you got ancient walls in here, which gave me the boost for engineering that I wanted. Great. I really want a lot of things. I really want the intelligence agency and I really want the amphitheater. I'm going to prioritize the intelligence agency. I really should have more amphitheaters built. It's kind of a slow start here. Uh, why do the barbarians never build galleys? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of annoying, I agree. I wish they did. Build galleys, that is. So I don't want to work any of these. Let me have a look. So, do I want this hill for the capital, or do I want it for rhymes? Capital is fairly limited in tiles. Whereas rhymes has access to a decent amount down here to the southwest. So, I'm going to prioritize the capital getting that tile. Speaking of the capital getting a tile, let's improve that for the capital to get it even more production. Uh-huh. Okay, two turns until growth. Brilliant. Farm triangle. So here's the important thing. This, uh, for the farm triangle people, this farm has plus one food on a plains tile. Once I place this farm, it's going to get another plus one. So now it's a three food tile with one production. Right? That's, that's the power of the farm triangle. Is it makes these growth tiles really, really powerful. I'm going to take this for Leon because it doesn't have a lot of good tiles and growth is a good alternative to like anything else. Just get a lot of population. You can make up for a weak game. Uh, declare friendships with Khmer. Oh, that's a good point. I did miss that. I was a little bit focused on things. 
they don't need to buy anything. Well, actually, they would buy a little bit of iron. So I'm going to sell them eight iron. He has no money whatsoever. Diplo favor? I'll get three diplo favor off you. Thank you. Speaking of diplo favor, it might be worth it to sell it. Let's see. Wilhelmina, how much would you pay for 10 diplo favor? You'd give me three gold. That's not enough. What about the Ottomans? Ottomans, what would you give me for 10 diplo favor? You'd give me three gold. Not enough. I want to get at least five gold for 10. So six gold from the Genghisonians. And six gold. So I think Genghis is the best deal right now. So how much gold do you have? You have 40 gold. So I think that should be around 80 Diplo favor. 81 Diplo favor for 40 gold per turn. Let's also check our resource uh, reports. Sorry, this one. Who has or does not have resources? So it looks like Harold, Suleiman, and uh, Wilhelmina will buy iron. So let's do Wilhelmina first. We'll sell you six iron. You'll give me one gold per turn. Beautiful. Uh, I think it was Suleiman. He was looking for about 36 iron. We'll give him 20. And then we'll give him 16. Okay, looks like he doesn't want it anymore. Or he doesn't have enough money, does he? And there you go. And who was the last one? Was it Norway? Buy my four iron. Thank you. Uh, so my guess for why don't barbarians is that the capturing cause is sort of raising a cause of issues. They fix the issue by not letting it happen. Ah, that's a good point. That is a good... I would guess that that is the correct answer. Okay, he's happy I killed barbs. All right, nice. I heard another barb camp appear, of course. Okay, harbor completed in here. And again, I want my lighthouses as much as I can. They're going to result in trade routes, lots of gold, all that stuff. So ideally now, I would maybe start trading with other players. Like I want to start looking for lots of gold trade routes. Um, Amsterdam's a good one. I'm going to move these to my capital, though. Harbor completed in here. Let's purchase the lighthouse. Oh. Yeah, let's get that lighthouse. This place wants a builder. I'm going to get a... Coastal Theater Square, maybe? This is all good seaside resort territory, though. That's a big problem here. So I might do an off-coastal theater square for great work holding. Quad dry room is being annoying, of course, as usual. So Calais, I think I'm going to give these two tiles to Calais to give it like an actual workable tile. I'm going to just put a bunch of farms in these cities. You're heading this way. Onto land. Streaming again. I've never seen Suleiman happy. Good old farm triangle. Uh, walls. Dr. Meatball. Yeah, walls are a priority, but they're not like a right now priority. I mean, I guess I'll vote Buddhism because that's what they did last time. And I'll vote for me. I don't know. I, I guess they voted for me because I'm their friend. Kind of makes sense. Now Protestantism won. I, this makes no sense. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, there's a trader. Um, now I could do internal trade routes for gold. Sorry, for production and stuff. Or I could do external for gold. And I think external for gold is the right move. Let me have a look. Where's my most profitable? Amsterdam's pretty profitable for 13 gold. But I do want to make sure that I'm trading with a variety of different people. So I'm going to trade with Genghis Khan here. And more trade routes are coming. This city would like an internal trade route at some point. Question is, how long are left, left on this era? So I've got nine turns in this era. I think I can faith purchase one more settler. 
Notice how I have spent basically zero production on settling. Oh, fuck, I forgot to take this card out. Ay, 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 ay. I forgot to take that card out. God damn it. I was like, look how little production I spent on settlers, and look how long I've had this settler production card slotted in. <laughs> A dumbass. Okay. We have a harbor fully built in here. Next up, we would like... Theater squares, I guess, are the thing, right? The more theater squares I can get, the better. Attack. Uh, kill commander mission is buy his relics if you're desperate for them. Oh, that's a really good point, actually. He has no... He has no relics. I'm not desperate for relics. I was just expecting to have more than one at this stage of the game. You know what I mean? Friendship Norway. Uh, Research Alliance. So I'm mostly just looking to be allied with as many people as possible to maintain positive relations. I'm up to four tourists already. That's pretty good. Considering I haven't even started really generating tourism. Uh, religious. Okay. Um, ideally in the late game, I would put a lumber mill there, but pasture for now is fine. We'll retool our entire empire later. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Royal Congress. Okay, I'm not part of the emergency. That's fine. There's buttresses. Oh, I need this. I can delay siege tactics for a bit, so I'm going to pick up cartography now. And ideally, maybe send a couple of scouts out this way to the west. There's Rens. What we'll do here is go straight for the harbor. The harbor is just really, really powerful. So I like to go for it early. Kind of annoyed that this got pillaged. after have to repair it. And so there's going to be a bit of awkwardness here. With regards to loyalty, but I should pick up another governor title and I'll be able to plug them in there, no problem. Another continent discovered. Where are these uh, national wonders? What color are your eyes, potato? Uh, black like my soul. Uh, come for the gaming tip, stay for the sexy voice. Ed Edgit. Adba. That looks like either a Scottish name or something. I've, no, I've never seen that name before, but interesting name. Uh, where is all the bots today? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Matt's YouTube stuff is a bot. Got him. Andurial X. Seems like you're a banker to start on islands with just you and Candy. So unfortunate. Why? I don't have relics you can buy. I don't think anyone has relics. I'll have a look through. Ottomans, no relics. Genghis Khan, no relics. Khmer, no relics. The Dutch, no relics. Norway, no relics. But we haven't met every civ in the game. Especially because we know Korea's in this game because they have more science than Mongolia right now. Jesus. So if I harvest this, or do I want to put a lumber mill on it? I think this tile is going to be a holy site, so it's probably going to get harvested. So I'll harvest it now, rather than later. And then we'll put lumber mills and stuff down around here. Could be a nice... This is actually a really good seaside resort territory. Uh, seaside, seaside, seaside. I can never find this goddamn thing. I can never, ever, ever, ever... There you go. All along there. Go to one. Would never have thought of that myself. It's a really, really bad joke. You're very easily entertained. I'm sorry. Uh, why do you always get Korea? Because the game hates me. Later in the game, here is the plan to invade city states with Guard Imperial. Nope, no plan for that. Uh, so I wanted to grab Victor to plop him in here. I also want more trade routes. So I'm going to buy the lighthouse. 
and then buy traders. I can buy one more settler, which I will do. That's the last settler I'm purchasing. And then I'll spend the rest of what little faith I get on uh, thingies. Oh, could I get six more era score? Let me think about how I get six more era score. I don't think there really is a way to get six more era score here. Swap out settler card. Oh, God, thank you. Jesus. Um, I like urban planning. Which city builds the theater square next to the mausoleum? Oh, that was meant to be Ambois, but I messed that up, didn't I? I totally did. I guess Leon can do it now. Although this is still better. So I messed this up. My bad. I had a brain fart moment. This should have been this should have been a theater square. I forgot about this. I just my brain poorly registered. Now oh, you make mistakes. It's not a big deal. Uh, did you mess up the theater square? Yeah, I did. Horse plus sword would only be two. And I don't even I don't even have iron working. <laughs> we'll research it. I mean, we'll give it a go. How do I not have a great rider yet? What is happening? This is a joke. I guess I didn't really prioritize it yet. But still, how did he get it first? I have definitely have more culture districts than him. Sweet baby rays. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Another another save there. First high adjacency district. It's a good one. I've got no districts coming online though, so not a gonna happen, I mean. Gold purchase trader. Alright, let's see if we can get this settler over to this continent here. The theater square won't be a mistake if you never finish ma finish mausoleum. Yeah, that's true. Right, there's theocracy. This is the government I actually want. So I want veterancy and limes. That's perfect. I want gothic architecture and urban planning. And then I also want... Hmm. Serfdom. Perfect. That's the perfect government. And now when I get builders... They have seven build charges, which is perfect. So ideally, I want to look to trade with more civs. So I want to get a city settled somewhere over here so I can trade with Khmer. It's kind of like one of my big motivations. I also need to get a scout down here. So I've got a lot going on here. I think I'm just going to prioritize getting gold right now. And not worrying too much about it. If we could just maximize our gold income, then we can snowball that gold into other things. Traders pay themselves off really, really quickly. I really want mass production. And I really need to unlock Siege Tactics. So I don't think I can delay Siege Tactics much more. Once I unlock... Uh, once I start getting towards like Diplomatic Service, which is next. This is where I want to start building my walls. Ideally after I have my theater squares online. But, you know. It's not been a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. Netherlands Friendship. Oh, good, good call. Hello, Netherlands. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'd like to buy this. Thank you. Nine gold per turn. Seems like a good deal. Let's get you healed up. Hello, Gandhi. Honor to meet you. How would you like a delegation? How would you also like open borders? There you go. Oh God, what have I done? Stop. Uh, you can get a friendship with the Netherlands. I have one. Settle Tundra for error score. 
I don't think there's enough time. I have three turns to get them over to that tundra. So if I improve you, that's one error score. I could buy a horseman, that's another error score. The only other way I could maybe get it if, if I was able to circumnavigate the world in time, but I'm not going to. So I won't get a Golden Age this time, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. It would have been nice to get the Golden Age, but I don't mind that much. All right. Um, these mines definitely need to be turned on, and I'm going to turn them on for Leon. Oh, there is something to be said for Marseilleux to get these mines. Mm, we'll leave it for now. Maybe I'll give one to Marseille. It's not even working them. Never mind. Take that tile. So we're going to settle here. We're going to immediately place Victor into La Rochelle. And then we're going to immediately get to work. We're going to purchase a monument. So I'm going to work on the water mill and then purchase the monument and then the granary. That's the goal in here. Um, so I'll purchase that monument next turn. Ooh, it's even more loyalty pressure. Alliance with India and the Netherlands. I want to be careful about declaring all my alliances. Especially cultural. Okay. Uh, granary completed here. So the theater square represents like a really high value district right now. So let's get that online. Delete that pin. What about becoming Sue's Vanity? Uh, one thing I could do is levy. How long do I have? If I levied... So if I can get enough gold this turn to levy a city-state, 630, 450. To levy a military and build a horseman, I think I can do it. So let's, let's see if we can't get enough gold. Uh, let's have a look here. How much would you pay for 10? You would give me 6. So I want all of your gold. Thank you. Uh, who else has gold? Gandhi. How do you feel about Diplo favor? Okay, you don't feel that strongly about it. So I'd have to give you almost twice as much. So the 450 I can use to get candy. Right? I can levy that. And I could actually probably put these to use exploring, right? So I've levied candy, which gives me one error score. So now I just need to get enough money to purchase a horseman. Oh, shoot. I already researched coursers. Oh, fuck. God damn. The Calais Harbor may be next better to the harbor and holy site. For adjacency. Well, it's getting adjacency from here. And I can always put a water park there later. So this is just better for the harbor. Because I can put a water park there later. Um, don't you get error score for diplomatic service? Yes, but I only have one turn left. Wish me luck on my finals. Uh, good luck on your finals, Aiden. <clears throat> so I need to get my hands on 800 gold. Collectively. I don't think there's that much gold in here, is there? 300, 300. Uh, maybe. Maybe I can make it happen. All right. I need all your gold. How much do you pay for 30 Okay, so if you give me all of your gold for like 24, okay, then you, you don't have much, you, you don't have much, I want to prioritize taking from the people with a lot, I want all your money, I want all your money, so I could definitely give like a luxury Plus some Diplo favor. To get 300 gold. So now I need 120 more gold. Netherlands.
Come on. There's the 800. We can purchase a Courser. And there we go. 66 out of 66 with one turn to go on the Medieval Era. Nice. Yeah, like, if, if you think, um, I don't have a, like, if I'm trying to buy a, a Corsair for 800 gold, uh, trying to, like, min-max how much era score, and you think I don't have a Swordsman, like, I would always go for the Swordsman first. So I think that's a bit silly to suggest me to build a Swordsman. <laughs> uh, this is actually a great trade. I'm going to take it. Extra amenity. That I didn't have to do anything for. I'd have lost the game as Poland after getting sandwiched between Lao Tower and Tamiris on NA continent. On a continent. It feels bad, man. That does feel bad. Most hard fought golden age I've ever seen in the world. It was I feel like we we made it pretty well. Uh so actually, hmm. So there's really a choice here between Monumentality and Reform the Coinage. Reform the Coinage at this point would mostly be used to get builders, although I could continue to settle. There is room for it. Um, but I don't have the faith gain to really justify settling. And I want to start using my faith once Mont Saint Michel finishes to pick up... Um, to pick up... Um, uh, apostles who will have the martyr ability that I can send to go get killed in places. So... What do you guys think? I'd like I'd like to hear some arguments from chat about monumentality versus reform the coinage. I don't think I take Exodus the Evangelists, and I don't think I take Hick Hicks on Traconis, even though I am about to be settling other continents. Can you play tall in Civ Six? Now you can. Does Gandhi have a relic? It's a great question. Gandhi does not have a relic. Azteca here, monumentality. How is the religion doing? The religion's doing fine. It's spreading itself. I just don't I don't have to worry about it at all, right? It takes care of itself. I'm on an I'm on an isolated island. I have to put zero faith into maintaining my religion. It spreads itself. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and only if I start seeing enemy religious units will I have to start worrying about it. This is like auto explore all these units that I levied, by the way. Let's do what you can. Why not move the archer into the city with loyalty issues? Uh, garrison units don't help with loyalty. Unless the city has been besieged. Damn, can you start over? No. More money. So, I feel like this is still good because I'll be able to purchase builders with gold where I need them. Especially over here in Marseille. And the movement speed on the builders is really nice too. I agree. But the extra gold is crazy. So like really this is like this is this is really like if we analyze this, I plan to I plan to spend zero faith on builders and settlers right now because I have all the cities that I need. It's turn 125. Ideally I need to start actually working on my win condition. I've settled all the cities I need. Um So the question really is now, am I going to get more money from the trade routes using reform the coinage? Or am I going to save more money on all the builders that I purchase? And I feel like harbors are like a big thing for me right now. So I'm going to take the gold. So we're up at 159. And if I refresh, we're up to 190. So that almost increased my gold income by 33%. I think that was absolutely worth it. It was almost 50 gold uh, total. So I think that was worth it, even if it means my builders are hilariously slow now. So Am Am Ambois needs um, help. A diplomat so there is... is Spy, I'm going to plug in Machiavellianism so I can build my spies in a reasonable amount of time. I almost have Intelligence Agency. Uh, okay, La Rochelle has an established governor. I'm going to start picking up now uh, Humanism so that I can build a chateau as well as archaeological and art museums. 
Keep exploring. There's the Aztecs. Nice to meet you. Okay, there's his capital all the way over there. Let's go ahead and establish a resident embassy. We'll go ahead and get mutual open borders with him. He'll ask me for six gold. Do not denounce him. Let's check if he has a relic. He does not. He has a literal, absolute, outrageous amount of cities on the Aztecs right now. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's an absolute beast of an Aztec. I thought that was uh, going to be Korea for sure. He must have snowballed like crazy. Gandhi is building Mont Saint Michel. Please no. Okay. Operation Save Mont Saint Michel is a go. I have one chop that I can use. I need a builder. Cannot delay. I need a trader in this city to speed that up. I need a builder. I need a trader. Okay. I need more money. <laughs> hey, Aztecs. How, how much do you pay? You pay almost nothing. Ottomans, please tell me you have gold. Aztecs, what do you want? They usually want luxuries. Okay, so I need to buy a builder and a trader this turn. So I need a little bit more gold. Chingus, how's it going, buddy? I have nothing you want. Give me just a little bit of gold. This will hopefully make a difference. We're going to chop that. And we're going to place that trader in here. Because we're, we're, I would say that we're pretty neck and neck here. If we look at their Mont Saint Michel. And my one. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, I'd say they're pretty equitable. Like they've got, I've got this little six part. Okay. And if I come over to my one. Yeah, like we're we're neck and neck, so maybe this will be what I need to break it. Do I have the card plugged in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should not have built this harbor. That might have been a mistake to stop for the harbor. I thought I was pretty safe and on on par for it, but I might have fucked it up. Okay, production. Didn't shave any turns off it. So my roof is filled in and you can see the garden. His roof is not filled in and you can't see the garden on his one. So I'm ever so slightly ahead, I think. Okay, over here in Rhymes, I'm going to place the aqueduct. But we're going to work on the industrial zone first. Can I take any productive tiles? No, I cannot. Focus on production and move Magnus. There's not enough time. Lumber mill. Knowledge of mass production. So ideally I want to pick up these two luxuries the pigs and the tea to make pig tea i'm gonna be pretty upset if i don't get mont saint michel this game because i actually feel like i invested a lot of energy into getting it okay so i've got little blue pavilions around my one I think I'm ahead. Yeah, I'm definitely ahead. So I'm definitely winning the Wonder Race. And that'll shave another turn off it. 
So unless he gets like a crazy amount of production from somewhere, I feel quite confident we're going to win the Mont Saint Michel race. So there's our first spy. I think we're going to be stealing. No, Aztec doesn't actually make that much gold from his cap. You don't make that much gold. We're looking for gold stealing. Istanbul is the place to go. I want that spy, but I also want the amphitheater. So I'm going to go spy amphitheater. Put your scout on Mont Saint Michel and declare war. Oh my god, I'm already friends with him. I can't declare war on someone I have a friendship with, unfortunately. It's a good idea, um, but I can't do it. Amphitheater, great. Finally, starting to get my amphitheaters. I feel really, really good about that. Oof. Oof. Can you come up here and deal with that? So, harbors, trade routes are great. Taking, actually, putting two into Lisbon would give me control of them. It would explore the world and potentially get me a relic. Nice. So we got the relic. Blood of the Martyr. Beautiful. Super happy about that. The Galapagos are over here. Um, I need more holy sites. I've been really neglecting my holy sites. But like finding time to build them. And this wonder heavy game has been tough. Uh, 6 out of 65. Okay, I'll harvest there. Maybe I should build this buy somewhere else. You should let that spearman stay there. Why? Pigs and spices. Do I have either of those? I would also pick up turtles. I have turtles near my capital, but I never pick them up. They're right there. I really want those pigs. Oink, oink, motherfucker. How did I get a relic? Because I'm suzerain of candy. Marek Buckman, you're definitely ahead, not constant enough. Oh, he's Susan of Candy. He's, yeah. So I, I'm Susan of Candy, and when you discover a natural wonder, when you're Susan of, of Candy, you get a relic. There's medieval fairs. Beautiful. Governor title. I don't want or need any of these. I might take grants for extra great people from my capital. And then curator. For even more tourism. Uh, potentially down the road. Barb camp on that wonder. You mean that island? Yeah, that's fine. As long as we as long as we're careful about how we land, we should be able to settle just fine and not like lose anything. I think people are way too scared of barb camps. They're really not that scary. They're just kind of annoying. Okay, we've got a five charge builder here. Definitely go help that out. Harvest. What's the worst natural wonder? Cliffs of Dover, like um, Marek Buckman said. It's easily the worst one. Easily. Uh, my troops are merely passing by, you weirdo. I literally don't have troops on your border. Oh, maybe I'm wrong, actually. I have guys exploring nearby. Yeah, maybe. I would be concerned, too, I guess. Give me that open border. They're on auto explorer. I'm not even paying attention to them. Go through. Ah, oh, damn, we tried. Need more temples for those relic slots? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I need to build more holy sites. Head east. I just didn't really build up a strong religion this game. Like, I, I have a good religion, but I didn't, like, emphasize holy sites right now. I've been kind of focusing on wonders. So there's the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. This is actually a really important part of our game plan. Because it means we get really, really good yields off these coastal tiles. Which means we can trade some of these inner tiles away. Um... Once we have shipyards and the city can basically live off the coast. 
St. Bagel's Cathedral. I could get that in 22 turns. Let's have a look here uh, on our thingy, St. Nobody's building it, so I might go for that too. I don't get the production, tourism, all our, our culture, all that stuff. But I do get three relic slots and 100% religious tourism from this city. And this is my holy city. I think I'm going to erase. Well, actually, this sheep tile is better. Um, so once I have siege tactics, I'm going to go for mass production, then cartography. Well, so once I have siege tactics, I'm going to go cartography, mass production. What are shipyards? Mausoleum Mahalakarnas is being finished is a huge moment for me. I really need holy sites, but I also need to get sites up. But I think the holy sites are like direct tourism, right? So the holy sites going there. We'll just get to work on it. Go for Venetian Arsenal. I have zero plans to build a navy this game zero plans to build a navy so i'll never ever ever go for venetian arsenal unless i think it's just like yeah i can get it and not hurt me so yeah i don't i don't plan to build a navy at all so completely unnecessary Church and state. there's mont saint michel so we did win the God. race so now i'm going to start pumping uh i'm going to delete this pin i'm going to start pumping faith into apostles to go send them to die ideally somewhere like down here a lot of things to fight. So let's get some apostles. They're extra cheap. We can start generating relics. Mont Saint Michel can hold two. Look at that bad boy right there. Look how many faith and stuff we can fit in there. Look at this faith gain from like a zero rel like a zero holy site run. So I'm gonna try to avoid building too many holy sites, but I'll get at least two more for now. I want, to minim I want to minimize my investment in holy sites and maximize my return from the little investment I put into them. Harvest the sheep before you start the wonder. Uh, sheep harvesting is only worth food, so it's not that big of a deal to give it up. I mean, the city would have been slightly bigger, but to delay the start of the wonder for waiting for... Oh my god. I'm going to leave the amphitheater broken, and I'm going to leave this wheat tile broken. What promotions do you get? Actually, Proselytizer is really, really strong here. Proselytizer? Proselytizer? I don't know how the hell you're supposed to say it. I get grief on that one, no matter what I say. Debater. Debater, debater, debater. Debater, debated. Uh, okay, Alliance. Resident Embassy. I think I had a military alliance with Chingus. I think I had an economic with the Ottomans. I think I had a cultural with the Duch. I don't think I had an alliance with the Duch, actually. Look how many of these bad boys you can fit into Mont Saint Michel. That's right. So I have room for two more relics, which I'm very happy about. Military emergency failed. Amphitheater completed in this city. Amboise is working on that. Um. Okay. Let's get the holy site. Mm. Let's take Proselytizer because it's a really powerful one. Let's gain sources in Istanbul before we start spying on them. Proselytizer. Proselytizer. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's the Levian Saw. It's Wingardium Levian Saw. 
Oh my god. I finally got a unit over here and then Norway's quad driving is gonna clear it for me. Fucking A, dude. Nice one. Do I care about spreading to this city? Not really. I wanna go just like spread into other people's cities. Be annoying. Mine right there. Settle piggy, get tea and turtles. Nice. What happened to naming your city Diangle? There it is. Le Diangle is right there. Nice. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. A lot of a lot, like a lot of these cities down here need builders. I've been kind of neglecting them heavily, and I'm gonna start moving like a a swath of builders down from Marseille. Is it worth it to build up by them here? Okay, so I think it's time for Magnus to start doing his world trip. Magnus is going to be reassigned to Avignon. Avignon is going to purchase a builder. I have a thousand gold in the bank. I'm going to use that to get an archaeological museum. No. What am I going to use that for? Probably to buy builders. We'll see. Get into the water. Victor City needs religious conversion. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm not worried about it. Characteristics of humanism. The Chateau. Enlightenment. Naval tradition would be good. I think I'm going to go like... Enlightenment. Natural history. So a lot of these tiles are going to go. Uh, is this going to be a national park right here? It's got to be. It's like perfect. Perfect national park. So we'll place the pins for that preemptively. So we know that this is going to be a national park. This is probably going to be a seaside resort. We're kind of planning long-term tourism here. The fuck is the seaside resort button? <laughs> Why can I never find it? There. So this is that. Then we can build all of our districts over here on the left side. So I'm thinking there's definitely room for an entertainment complex here. There's definitely room for a holy site and a theater square. However, if I'm going to do that, I may as well put that there. Like this. This makes a really nice sort of cooperation station. You know what I'm saying? Which means anything that isn't here can be... So anything that's covered by a pin can be chopped, basically. Is what I'm establishing here with these pins. But I want to wait for Magnus the Great. What do you do again? How triggered do you get if someone were to call you Scottish? Not very. It's like my uh, my ego isn't fragile enough that like being mistaken as another culture is a big problem for me. It's just it's mostly just a meme. Um, so I want those ancient walls, but I need to have at least amphitheaters in my cities before I kind of justify going for ancient walls. You are ready to go. Waiting for Magnus. Magnus probably should have been doing his world tour a long time ago. I just kind of forgot about it. TBH. Sure, I'll sell you iron for oranges. Let's get some more apostles. 
two more. Let's get up onto land. Okay, waiting for Magnus. I have 2,000 gold in the bank. Le Diangle. So these are all really, really good. Um, see, these two are really good seaside resort tiles. So let's make sure we prioritize and plan those out before we do anything else. So we don't cover those up. And then probably a holy site like there. This will be a shet. No, what are those things called? You know the thing you put on a mountain makes a, makes a funny thing. You, do, you you wear skis. Ski resort. That's the one. It's, it's kind of planting this out now for a late game tourism optimization. Definitely want a national park in and around here somewhere. He has some empty slots in Michelle. They're there. I've got two empty slots for relics right now and I'm working on two more and then another three from St. Basil's. So I, th I feel like I'm pretty good on slots. Water, water Lake Retba. Beautiful. There's the robes of the guru. I'm going to take it easy on getting these guys killed until I have those slots open. So that'll take a bit of time. So in the meantime, I'll probably just look for like chilled out things. Purchase monuments and granaries. Oh, you're right. That's something I meant to do. God damn it. I always forget to do that. Ugh, I have a bad memory. All right, Ruin has all that. You do not. Monument, granary. Then we get your Abo. Ren, monument, granary. Forms an armada. Nice. There's a candy envoy. Candy Envoy sounds like something you'd buy in a in a candy shop. Let's make sure we get our hands on a builder for 420 gold. Get those luxuries. Monument. Granary. Guess what you're working on? That's right. It's Labo. One more turn for Magnus. Okay, tile improvement wise, I think we're looking pretty good. Get back over there, repair that. I got my apostle. Impossible, impossible. Big translator. It's fine. How does a great merchant give two relic slots? It's a great question. I have zero commercial hubs, which is definitely a mistake, but a welcome one. Really? Okay. Steal gold from the Ottomans. Just put you to sleep in that city. It's very, very windy. Okay. Making good time. Easy error score from the first Armada? Maybe. Might do that. There's the holy site <clears throat> in here. I really want that archaeological museum, but I also need room for my relics. So that's a priority for me. I need to get my temples online. Time to harvest. Bam. Finish that. I'm going to purchase the lighthouse in here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have purchased that. I guess I'll build a trader. Now I've got that goddamn candy shop song stuck in my head. I blame you, chat. Indulgence vendor works. Kill the bad man. So I need to find religious units to just throw myself at. Spreading the tater thoughts. Okay, we got another spy. Delhi might be a good spot. Majorai. 
Um, Tenok Titlan. Yeah, 400 gold from Tenok Titlan. Tenok Titlan. How close am I to getting an artist? I'm getting closer and closer to getting an artist. This is going to be my first art museum. Uh, lighthouse hard build. 11 turns. Seems good. Scouting. God damn it. What is this terrain? <laughs> Who made this? Get that tea. So this is where I'm going to start thinking a bit more about amenities at this stage of the game. Now that some of my cities are actually starting to have amenity problems. You need Crystal Redentor. It's only for seaside resorts, which means your relics don't suffer tourism penalty. Yes, I know that. Crystal Redentor is one of the core wonders that you build in a culture victory, which is why I'm going to natural history, and then I'll go for Crystal Redentor. Uh, that's going to be one of, my, one of my major goals this game is to get the Crystal Red and Tour. Definitely. Uh, I think I don't think there's ever been a culture game that I did where I didn't go for Crystal. Actually, I haven't been checking the great thingies. So, great engineers. How do I not have a writer yet? This is a joke. I actually need to stop messing around with culture. Um, and really get more great writer points because I have zero great works of writing right now and that's completely unacceptable. I might actually have to run these theater square festivals. Right, throw yourself at him. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to purchase this temple. And we're going to do theater square festivals. I need those great people. If we can get both these guys killed, that'll be another two relics. Are the enlightenment. And usually Throw yourself at him. Throw yourself at him. Is the holy grail. Beautiful. Shabam. If I can get one more relic, we're in the money. Look at all, look at all that faith. Look at all that fate. That's all from relics, dude. It's crazy. Look at this faith. Uh, I'm actually going to purchase these things in here because I really need to get my theater squares online. I really need to get my campuses online too, but I cannot delay theater squares. I've been screwing around delaying th theater squares for way, 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 way too long. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to purchase those holy site buildings. And hopefully, that'll just have to be enough room until I get St. Basil's. This trader is going to look for gold. Amsterdam, 31 gold per turn. Beautiful. Then Theater Square. Sorry, just joined in. Why the relics push? Uh, we just kind of got lucky early. We found candy. Uh, we found candy early and we got Sue's Ranity of them. And so I kind of have just been holding on to Sue's Ranity of them to try to generate relics. And then I decided, because I had the potential for early relics, I decided to go for reliquaries and also Holy Orders so that I could convert faith into relics pretty easily. And then we went for the Mahabodhi Temple and the Mont Saint Michel, so that all of my apostles have the martyr belief. So not only so I can I can generate a lot of relics basically, which is a way for me to generate tourism. And as you can see, I already have twelve tourists out of ninety four, which is you know pretty good at this stage of the game. Uh, in in my opinion. Throw yourself at him. Sorry, I just joined. Uh, expecting the unexpected regarding potato streams. Baron Houseman, uh, Misha Cops, on Didi and the immortal city states always start with walls. Yes. Well, lighthouse, lighthouses are critical for a, a coastal game. Like, you just, you cannot have, uh, you, you can't lay harbors in a coastal game. But that's the downside of being in a coastal game, right? Because if you have to build harbors, you can't build your theater squares as fast, right? 
the necessary evil. Do I put a whole bunch of arms? What's likely going to go in here eventually is a ton of um, seaside resorts. That's like the possibility that I see here. If I put that there. And if I can get some sort of appeal generation like Eiffel Tower, maybe we can pull that off. So I won't fill this in with farms because I'll just eventually rip them up in a few turns. Man, Rhymes is just really crappy. It needs help. All these cities down here to the south need help in the form of like builders. And I've been delaying that a long ass time. I've, I've, like, I've been delaying it so long. This is probably like the fourth time I've talked about it. Kill yourself. Beautiful. Uh, so that's all the relics that I can obtain right now. Until I get a temple or St. Basil's Cathedral. Theater Square. Plus two. And production. Plus one. Okay, city center buildings building faster isn't terrible. It's actually the perfect time for me to now start building ancient walls. Not only am I only a couple of technologies away from um, conservation that we're going towards. Uh, we have lime, limes plugged in, or limes, whatever people say it is. Um, so I'm getting 300% 300% production towards walls right now. So now's the perfect time to build walls. Kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, excuse me, I'm having a throat moment. <clears throat> Rip Amsterdam. F for the Dutch. Yeah. Oh, they died. That's actually not good. That they are the dead. Yeah, not much I can do about it. Looks like the Ottomans took a bite out of them as well with the Hague. The Hagu. Trade International... Okay. This will make the victory harder. It will make the victory slightly harder. Make it 200 gold per turn. You leveled up. Quartermaster is a great promotion. I'm going to hold these guys on the edge until I have um, more relic slots. The purpose of which I will have soon. St. Basil's is coming through. Uh, I think I can actually purchase a temple in here. And that will allow me to send one of these guys to their deaths. Okay. Alright. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Uh, do I want to harvest this banyanya? Banyanya. I will harvest the banyanya. Then it's two turns until growth. Beautiful. Let us place the holy site in this city. Golden nuggets. So I lost like two tourists? Yes, because the Netherlands was killed. Game thinks I'll win in 47 turns. I don't think that's going to be the way that things shape up. But this is a very interesting... I'm, I'm having fun so far. I would love to build these things. I would love to build that holy site. We'll get around to it all eventually. Okay. Gain sources. Looking for What's those... There it is. This must present... Silk texts. Beautiful. Be she's a beauty. Get the fuck back in the water, boys. Stay alive. There we go. Get that harbor done a little quicker. You know what I forgot to do? I need another builder over here in a Avignon. My very first great rider. Good God, I've been waiting for oh, this. I, I have a thousand. I have a thousand faith. Holy shit! I should have prioritized apostles. This game. Oh, I. You know what? I changed my mind. One. I. 
100% changed my mind about relics. If you can get an early way to generate relics, it's insane. And in fact, this strategy of going like Mahabodhi, Mont Saint Michel, is actually pretty reliable because it's very similar to the diplomatic victory strategy because it involves Mahabodhi and um, whatever you call it, the thingy. This is actually a pretty viable way to do things. I, I have not been giving enough respect to religious tourism for a very long time. And now I feel a little bit dumb for it. Uh, in Avignon, make your seaside resort a campus. No. Take this tile. Our goal here is to harvest out a city worth having. How are you still alive? The stream is up when I was at a convention that closed four hours ago. I, was like, I only started streaming like three hours ago, man. Oh, yes. We can cross the ocean. The Great Expanse. So we're up to 11 pop in this city, which is objectively insane. The city doesn't have enough tiles to work with 11 pop. I need to start stealing tiles for the city to simply be able to work enough shit. Um, let's get harvesting. Oh, what are you doing here? No, 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 no. Okay. Get down here. Become an orator. Go to here. Become an orator. So I've got four potential relics in the bank right now. And up to three, I think three more from Natural Wonders. So I'm going to need more Holy Signs. Uh, let's see here. We're about to get our first artist. I'm going to cancel some of these now. To be Another great work. St. Basil's is almost done. Don't forget to purchase a temple in Avignon. I will do so once we have the Holy Site finished in there. Okay. Having seen a non-market economy, I suddenly understood much better. All right. So Magnus needs to get moved over here. Let's get to work on ancient walls. It's like a big priority for me here now that we're working on colonialism. You go here, harvest that. You go here, go there. We're going to harvest out this. Then we're going to work on the holy site. Um, yep. Ye commercial hub might not be the worst thing ever to build. We could just have this city spam commercial hub projects. I like that plan. But first we get the holy site. Lighthouse completed in Ruin. Holy site right there. We'll eventually get Magnus over here to help this city out. Wasting money by losing out on the southern cities. Losing out on tithe. It's really, it's six gold per turn. It's, I mean, I guess I could probably divert these guys over, right? I could like, hey, look, go convert that city, right? But it's, it's really not something that I care about. <clears throat> six gold per turn in the grand scheme of things is not much. Um, especially when the religious pressure here is like not in my favor. I mean, I guess technically if I converted these cities, it would be in my favor. Sure. I mean, it's a fair criticism, but it's not something that I'm like a, ha making a huge priority of. I guess if I was concerned with playing like super hardcore optimally, I would be. But I'm more about like just executing a general strategy and then having a good time while doing it. What's the religious victory looking like? It's a good question. Uh... Looks like Islam. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like Islam is currently in the lead. Are two players dead? No. Fortify. Renew your alliances. Tactics mean doing what you yeah, I will. I'm kind of mentally focused on a lot of different things right now. So... Norway. Establish, establish resident embassy, open borders, give me some gold, thank you. 
Okay, there we go. Then I'll get a research alliance with you. Seems fine. The actual details of the alliances don't matter. I guess the only alliance that really matters is the one with Mongolia. And that should really be something other than a military alliance because he's with who I'm trading with the most. Uh, he doesn't want a cultural alliance. He might do a religious one. No. He should. He should want a religious one. There. Alliances sorted. I also like to wait on my alliances to get them all done at the same turn. That way I don't have to constantly remember it. Hey, Jasper. 12th May of school tomorrow is a good evening. See you later, Jasper. I'm probably going to be wrapping this up here in a little bit. I might go a few more turns. Harvest that. Then I'm going to purchase the lighthouse. And then work on ancient walls. And I'll get a trader in here as well. I'm going to harvest that. Then I'll harvest these two to hopefully get the holy site and the commercial hub built. And then I can use gold to build the city. And then I can move Magnus to the next city like Le Diangle. The Diangle. Le Diangle. <clears throat> Who will need alliances when I command all your appliances? Uh, why not making this Lady Angle Mountain sort of part of the National Park instead of a ski resort? Uh, I guess that is an option, technically. I was more thinking a National Park right here. I don't know if I mentioned that. But a National Park right here, uh, it takes advantage of coastal... Uh, it takes advantage of coastal appeal. It's close to a mountain, and I feel like this is just better. And then if I really, really... Excuse me, that was a stretch. <clears throat> so I was thinking of more a uh, national park like right here in between these two cities. Uh, and then maybe another one like right here. If that gives you an idea of where my head's at in terms of national parks. I just I haven't actually put the pins down because they kind of clog the map up. So I don't like to put them all down. I usually put a few down, but this one might help people understand the general game plan. Something like National Parks over here. Uh, this will be Seaside Resorts uh, around here. The Seaside Resort, Seaside Resort, like all these will try to be Seaside Resorts. This will be two forests, stuff like that, right? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll put those pins down so people know. This is the current plan, really. And eventually, we'll put a lumber mill there. Like this, right? This is the current uh, Norway is a non-domination victory. Pillage a bunch in the early game. Settle crazy across oceans early and balloon if the science win. How realistic does it sound? It sounds It sounds like... I was actually... You know what? Very funny that you're talking about that because I was thinking about what would be a really interesting edited video and that would be maybe doing a, a pillage run as Norway where I just like... My entire economy is based around building units to pillage other players. I thought that would be really interesting. Uh, I really want to place the holy site in here. I'm going to work on medieval walls <clears throat> while I wait for Avignon. So let's harvest uh, this. That'll finish that. Then the overflow will finish this. And then this will finish that. So we've got all of our districts built in here. Which is a huge advantage. Because now this city can just work on things, right? <coughs> it has crappy tiles. But it's built. It has everything it needs to be useful. Um, let's work on the shrine in here. Now let's reassign Magnus to Le Diangal. What would be a good map setting for a high appeal map or is it completely random? Uh, generally, you're going to want like more coastline. That's good. Having a lot of mountains is good. So a new world age can be really good for it. Uh, you're going to want a wet world with lots of, um, you know, foliage like forests and jungle and stuff like that. That could be a really good way to increase the viability of it. Um, uh, I am going for, yeah, I'm going for a culture victory by focusing on religion uh, and relics. Right now, we're waiting for St. Basil's Cathedral. And we're also waiting for the temple in Avignon uh, to get more relics. Because right now, the, the hard part is, is just getting enough room for relics. Because we didn't prioritize those early. Uh, let's do market. 
now. So I've got a couple of parcels knocking around. I'm going to send this one to go die. Ancient walls in Nantes. I want to make sure I'm trading with as many individual AIs as possible. So Magirai is a good one. Medieval walls in here. We're getting colonialism. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be better to build a market and purchase all the holy site buildings in La Diangle? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Good call. Okay, my throat is starting to get sore from talking all day. Like, last four... Nearly four hours, so I'm probably... Gonna do just a couple more turns. Hey, you're watching the Tato Live. Nice to see you, buddy. Colonialism is on the way. There is our very first artist who will straight away be going up to Ambois. Theatre Square Festival finished in here. I'm going to go for the Archaeological Museum now. Although I, I actually can't delay a campus anymore. God. The city needs to build so many things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, listening post to have a better chance. Wait, did I do that right? I think I did that wrong. Oh, well. It's whatever's. Convert. Convert. Go get yourself killed. So let's make sure Lady Angal owns all the right tiles. It does. We're going to want a builder down here. We're going to want probably two more builders in this city. Uh, you need a nice cup of Yorkshire tea to recover your voice. I don't know if that's going to help. <coughs> uh, right, amphitheater, go. What? No. No. I was so close. I was so close. No, that's not fair. I was so close, man. I was so close. God damn it. God damn it. Ay, 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 ay. I was so close, man. I almost had it. I it got snatched away from me. Snatched. I got snatched, dude. And I'm not okay with it. Uh, what are we gonna do? So in terms of this city, I don't think it's like I have 400 production overflow here. I should probably build one of these. Taj Mahal. Lots of error score. Ten turns for Taj or Agia Sophia. I'm going to do Agia Sophia. Who got it? I don't know. Like, when I first started building it, no one was building it. You son of a bitch, Mongolia. I mean, I can't blame him for building it there. I can be mad about it, but I can't blame him. Look at Aya Sophia. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get those renaissance... Well, I'm actually not in a rush to get them. More holy sites, more betterer. 
Art Musee and I'm boys. I'm boy, I'm boys, I'm boys. I'm boys. I don't know how to say it. I'm boy. Builder. We need more builders, my lord. Good God, run away. <laughs> no, wait for the chop. Shall not chop unless it's time to chop, El Chum. Spread your religion. Get the city growing, growing. Go like to go take it, late game domination switch. I don't like doing switches. I like to like grind my face into the dirt doing the same victory type over and over. Like just forcing myself to try to brute force into a game. Uh It's a bit late for writing. Well, I'll go for printing, I guess. Medieval Vols. Shipyard's good, it'd be a ten percent production boost after ten turns. Which isn't bad. Let's do it. All right. Workshop done. Aqueduct. Get. Go. Delete. 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 Uh, okay. I lost open borders with the Aztecs. What's up, bud? All right. Uh, I think we've gone long enough. Let's go ahead and save the game. Eleanor, France, oh oh one. Exit to de desktop. Let us open up paint. We shall draw. A kitty cat. I was requested by someone. I think it was Gabrielle. She asked me to draw a kitty cat. I'm really bad. So this is how I would normally draw a kitty cat. I would draw like a little circle. And then I would give it a spiky thing. And then I would give it another spiky thing. And I'd draw a face. It's kind of a chubby cat. And then I'd give it a little triangle nose. Shabam! I'd give him a little cute little meow meow face. This is what a kitty cat looks like to me. You gotta give him the whiskers. I just made that cat look way worse than it did before. And then the kitty cat's got a kitty catty body. Kitty cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a meow 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 and a meow 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 cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a meow 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 and a meow meow meow. He's got like a big sausage for a tail. This is one long boy, let me tell you. Long boy with little legs. I drew a kitty cat. He can be orange. I'll put him on a rug. He's on a rug. On some floorboards. It's 
gotta be it's gotta be parallel dude I'm, I'm shocked that people are still surprised when they join my stream and are like why is potato painting it's what we do every time the stream is finished we go into paint and we draw p pretty pictures together I expect all of you right now are at home painting as we speak and if you're not I'm disappointed I'm actually ruining the picture but I don't care ruined this is like Bob Ross levels of ruining your picture He's like, he's against like a wooden area, right? You can kind of tell that I'm going for that. And then if I fill this, no, not like that. I need the much uh, brighter brown. Give me this custom color. Give me that nice orange. See, he's in a wooden house. He's a good kitty. And he meow meow meows and he meow meow meows. Cat. He's a kitty cat. There, look, I drew a cat. <clears throat> I am painting good to hear that you're all painting that's my kitty cat drawn how do I share happy little cat he is a happy little cat I'll give him a pink little tongue he's a, he got a pink little tongue there you go I need little pink ears there you go and then I'll give him horrifying red eyes <laughs> this is the devil cat the cat's got evil in him Johnny what are you talking about he's just a cat Mary I tell you he stares into my soul the cat I think he's been smoking the reefer cats can't smoke reefer Mary you need to calm down you're getting the vapors alright cat I'm a kitty cat I'm meow 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 cat I'm a kitty cat. I'm gonna make the rug look a little more ruggish. Or perhaps rugged. <laughs> got him. We got him, boys. I'll put a couple of knots in the wood too, like this. Little swirls and stuff. This reminds me of like early. Early 2000s animation on Newgrounds, everything looked like this. It was just fucking awful. Nothing was, like, layered. It was all, like, hand-painted shitty things. The only thing that moved was, like, the cat's mount, and it was, like, three frames that the dude drew. There, look. Everything looks scuffed like this. All right, that's it. We're going to save it. 2020-02-16. Shabam. Into the library of pictures we've drawn. I love you all very nice. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.